It's Wednesday. We're here to talk about death. It's Wednesday, man. And, you and we, we want to bring hot you up. and sad. Now, I just want for yeah. the listeners. Should I tell them what happened to me? <clears throat> we should, but yeah. before you do that, for yeah. the listeners who are yeah. actually they can't view this. Yeah. Have you been up since four a.m.? I'm glad you asked. I've been up you're since looking two. Rough, bro. Now hold on. Well, well, you know, Daddy had himself what he thought was a little staph infection in the arm. And now, just to preface so yeah. everyone knows what's going on, yeah. after we did the show on Monday, Brian goes, dude, I have staff. And I've had staff a ton of times, being a former mixed martial artist, sure. being on a lot of mats. Yeah. I've had tons of staff. Yeah. And so I said, let me see. And you, But you had bandages on. Yeah, I had so bandages on. I couldn't see on. it. Right. And I went, dude, quit being a pussy, right. as I always do with you, because you're a- uh, Pussy. You, well, you're no. just, you're a hypochondriac. I'm a little dramatic. You're dramatic in your yeah. hypochondriac. As soon as something, like, I told you, like, I if you get a bump on your lip, you're like, dude, I think I have cancer. Remember, I, I told you I had, I had throat cancer, and I go, I have throat cancer. I, I called. You Brent had a sore throat. I had a little white spot on my <clears throat> thing, but it turned out to be a piece of food. And I go to the doctor. <laughs> there you and go. The guy goes, I don't see anything. He I was, was like, he's the guy who goes in his room for everything. So yeah. when he tells me he has but, these but, bumps but on not, his arm, yeah. I go, dude, I've had staff very bad. I have friends who've had MRSA. I've I've seen it all. Right. Just take antibiotics and get rid of it. I guarantee it's not that bad yeah. for me playing tennis yeah. or playing grab ass boxing. So, so then you go, okay, I'll do that. So so here's here's the here's the, now set it up. Here's the journey. Thank you. Before that, for four or five days, my my arm was killing me. Your forearm. Like, and and I, I said to you, I go, I think I don't know. And he goes, yeah, maybe tennis. Or something. I go, no, my elbow, my forearm. It's all tender though. It feels like it's tender. I couldn't figure it out. And I see these two little spots. This. Like that, like right between. So I do a, I do doctor on demand where I have the guy on, you can Skype a doctor, costs 75 bucks. Guy's a really nice guy, does a great job, goes, <laughs> he looks at it and he goes, let me see that, bring it up to the camera. He goes, you know, the way you're describing it, I think you were bit by a spider. Ah, I go, fuck. I knew it. I knew I was bit by a spider. You got the Doogie Hauser there are fucking two web little, MDs. But in a way, you can see, because it felt like I'd been poisoned, two little things. But also. I've had Cody, Coyote Peterson on here. But also. Okay, we just hold. Oh, yeah, where'd the spider come from? Well, you never know, dude. Hey, Doc, I live in fucking Playa Vista. Could have been a brown recluse cl in, sure. my, in my bed. Yeah, yeah. All right? Fire that guy. But the problem is that thing starts getting pustuly. And That's I'm like, true. oh, fuck. So I'm like, all right, nah, it's nothing. No big deal. Keep going, bro. You're a man. Keep boxing. Keep playing tennis. Keep lifting weights like you do at 52. Yep. Keep revving right? high. Revving high, we call it. Then I go, man, <clears throat> I I seem to have a couple of more of these what look like pustules. Starts to spread. Pustules. On the old arm and on the shoulder. So I go, oh, I got I got me a case of staff. Staffy staff. Going to a walk-in clinic in Marina Del Rey. Guy comes in, casual as can be. Is this last night? No, nah, this was on Sunday, sir. Okay, so, Sunday morning. Okay. Casual as can be, goes, yeah, I go, but I'm like, I might have MRSA, I have stuff, I don't know, I'm, you know, that, I'm like that. Yeah. He goes, D you're not going to die, just relax, no big deal. So he gives me Bactrim, which is, you know, a, an antibiotic that takes care of that. Well, I'm taking that for f two days, and my pain is worse and worse. Weird. And I'm not able to sleep. It's and pulsing I'm yet getting when you more sleep, oh, getting hot. Oh, itching, burning, <clears throat> and pulsing. It's your right arm? And my right arm, and I can't really lift my arm up. So I'm like, this. the fuck is going on? Could you jack off? Sure couldn't. And wow. took the horny yeah, right out of me. The, yep, better go to the merchant. Took the horny right out of me. Couldn't yank the old pleasure. When you stick. can't when you can't yank your pud, you yep. know you should go oh, to the emergency dude. room. Yes. All right? So take my eyes, but not my jack off. Correct. Man. So I'm taking these antibiotics, but now I got a couple more pustules. All right? Spreading even more. Yes, sir. So I go, well, <clears throat> now I have an aggressive form of flesh-eating bacteria, obviously. Or measles is popular right now. Well, I, I'm, I, I've had my measles vaccine. Doesn't matter. Right? But I'm definitely going to um, shout out to the anti-vaxxers who are putting all little infants in danger now. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't Keep matter. Keep going. Yeah, please so, don't do that. So now I'm, I'm fucking, uh, I, I, I wake up, I can't sleep, go to the emergency room. I'm sorry. This let me last, back up. This is last night. I'm sorry. Let me back up. Can you make this story? Way I go to another though, clinic. I go to another clinic, the mm -hmm. USCLA Urgent Care. They swab news. it. They swab it. Check me for herpes. You can have herpes on your skin. Mm, nah, standard. comes up. Just on comes your up dick. negative. Did you tell them just on my dick. Just on my face and my, and my lips. dick. Yep. Just on my lips, my face, and my dick. So nothing, nothing. P uh, negative. All right, negative. Uh, I finally I can't sleep. My uh, last night I go I I can't do this. I got a whole day. I got to do Rich Eisen in the morning. I got uh, WTF. So I got our of, podcast. Instead of sleeping, you through two a.m. I drive myself to the emergency room. Now everybody should see what an emergency room in Los Angeles looks like at two a.m. It's the Walking Dead. Oh, dude, you got the, the walking, walking Dead. dead. Walking you got dead. you got. There's you guys in there with fucking. They stuck 
WD-40 cans up oh, their assholes. Oh, my God. There's moms in Correct, there. Correct, sir. There's and, drug addicts. A lot of drug addicts on the floor. On the floor. But they can't household them, so they stay there. One guy's got his head on the chair, and you want to talk about MRSA and real problems. Well, there's gunshot victims. Unless it's in the heart or the stomach, you're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. There's gang members. Oh, yeah. White supremacists. Oh, the whole thing. Yes. So it's now I walk in. Fun. I walk in, and I'm all bunched up, and I'm in a gown, and... Uh, Three different nurses come in. Though I love those nurses. And one of the nurses really comes hot? in. One of them was pretty hot, actually. Is there anything better than a hot nurse? Yeah, she was very hot. God. Um, yeah, her name is Lanika. Ooh. Shout out to Lanika. Yeah, uh, Korean and, or Filipino? No, she's she's an African, usually they're Filipino, African American lady. <laughs> oh, okay. Very, but but like not only hot, but Ooh. also and wearing caring. perfume that smelled really good. Oh, and the big pouty lips. The whole thing going oh, on. Dude. You, you would be very happy. Yes. Very distracted. Nothing better than... And the, also... There's and also, nothing better when you get a hot nurse. And also... Or a hot flight attendant. Yes, sir. It will make your flight. Yes, it will. I could be all the way in the back, in the middle, between two fat guys. If the flight attendant's hot, I'm like, let's do this. Correct. All right, keep going. And they're all they're all pretty... They're all awesome. They've all done this a couple times, a couple one well, thousand, nurses. one two thousand times yeah. in the emergency so room. they've seen a Night 50 shift. year old with herpes. <laughs> They're laughing. I go, if I have MRSA, and she goes, so Lanika goes, I don't think it's MRSA. And then she waves it off. She goes, MRSA, please. I said, <laughs> laughing at you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I can take care of that with antibiotics, I, I see crazy shit. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I don't know. I don't know it's MRSA. Maybe it's staff. I don't think it's staff. Another. So so finally, another awesome nurse comes in. I believe her name is Allison. Working the night to shift, too. Working the night shift. Allison comes in and looks at me and goes, So you've got her, you've got, she goes, So you've got shingles, honey. And I go, excuse me? She goes, you don't have staff or MRSA or Antibiotics would have cleared You it. have shingles. No, yeah. shingles is a virus. It's in, it's in the chicken That's what I'm family. saying. Antibiotics would have got rid of your staff. Correct. It would have been better, not Correct. worse. Correct. Yeah. So she <clears> goes, <throat> I go, shingles? The fuck is that? She goes, under stress? I go, I mean, not really. I you always say like that, but you are. I guess I am. Are you shitting me? I guess I am. I don't want to right. air your dirty laundry, but- Yes. Are you shitting me? Okay, I got some stress. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> all right, so so so. I don't want to go but through we all. all we all have stress. Not like th all that. All right, all right, relax. So the uh, point is, I know, but I mean, I did. All right, so so now, all right, so and I, I drooled do, when and I, I said do, that. I know, and I do burn it at both ends. I'm doing everything yeah. at the same time. So, so she goes, yeah, you know, everybody has it. If you had chicken pox, you got shingles. So you know, you just got a little thin case there. Bring up we'll shingles on, for me, Jim. We'll put you on retrovirals. Now she now I don't have a bad case of it. She was like, "Oh, I said oh, we have it gets crazy Especially clustery for, for kids, right? Like that shit. I don't have that. That's crazy. But that's what oh. you can deal with, bro. That's chicken pox, basically. Oh, I mean, these are bad God. cases, mm. but you know, I've never like seen that. no chicken pox like that. No. So either way, dude. So you got shingles, bro. So I got myself sure some shingles. Some but stress, you know what, man? I, you just need it. Felt good though. I was like, you it's, know, what, to figure it out, right? Yeah. Fuck it. I'll deal with that. Felt good to figure it, just, it out. It's self limiting. Your skin's away. sensitive, dude, because you've had psoriasis. fucking psoriasis for 19 yeah, years. Yeah, but it's gone. That's gone. Completely. Yeah, it'll come back out. It'll rear its head. <laughs> nah, well. You shouldn't be? You think, uh, oh. Nah, nah, nah I'm, I'm You think it. Mr. Shingles and Mr. Psoriasis just <laughs> go away? What do you mean, man? Oh, bro. Come on, Mr. Man. Psoriasis I go away. goes, do your thing, Shingles. <laughs> I'm going to hang back. Hey, come on, I'm man. I'm going to hang back in the tall grass. Yeah? Yeah. He's just waiting for you know, me to let's get- just, When's this special dropping soon? All right, yeah. you do your thing. I'll come. I'll come next week. Yeah, I'm gonna stop by next week. Specials out right now. Everybody. I'm gonna come by next week. Complicated Apes on 20 different platforms, including iTunes and YouTube. Um, yeah, the, here's the, people keep asking. If you don't know where to get a special, suck a dick, bro, and yeah. get shingles. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Just, just go ahead and get. Just do some complicated homework. Complicated Apes. Just fucking figure. It's on every platform. Yeah. It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So find it. Yeah, you shingle fucks. And thanks for downloading. It's been doing well, so thank you for that. Um, um, yeah, so, so, so bottom do, line is... You bottom know, line, you're dying. Yeah, it, bottom line, we all by are. The way, though, we all by the way, are. Yeah. yeah. And I took, I'm took. i taking... They, they gave me Valtrex, which you get for herpes. Yep. So I have to go pick up my Valtrex, but they gave me some at the hospital. Already feeling better. Already way better. But I got to go now to the pharmacy and go, I'll take my herpes medication, please. My Valtrex. But they don't know if it's for of course they don't. dick or lip and they, you or know head. They, you know they, they assume know. it's for my dick. So. Oh, is there anything worse when you got to pick up weird medication yep. and it's a hot pharmacist? Yep. It, or when you have to pick up four. Uh, have you ever had a pharmacist who's a fan? 
I sure have. I have a friend who goes, bro, yeah. let's do, dude, I can't, I'm like, yeah, very cool. Uh, can you, uh, oh, yeah. a prescription there? And then he Do- gives it to you like, oh. The doctor God. last night goes, you remind me of the guy from Sex and the City. I go, well, that might be because I am. <laughs> and then that set, that set off the whole, wait then a minute, boom, are you in it? And then, then you're, then you're answering. Um, so what press, so t- was yesterday or today the first day? Yesterday press? I had press. Today what, I, got, you I, yesterday? I did Rich Eisen. Shout out to Rich Eisen. Love that Rich, guy. Rich Eisen, favorite guy Great as guy. far as uh, professional sports go, media. Him yeah. or Dan Patrick, but Rich Eisen beats him out because so he's good, awesome. Right? So good. The best. We'll get Hilarious. him on uh, TFAC. Just, just got done. Did he talk about it? He just got done with the NFL Combine mm-hmm. where he runs the 40 and raises awareness and money for autism. I didn't know he ran the 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does it as a joke, but you oh. donate money and then you, you take you film you you running uh 40s and Dude. you donate money look at him he's got good form not really <laughs> he ran like a seven flat anyway <laughs> um he's a, one of the best guys in all the business oh, he's amazing he's my favorite and he's hilarious he's great we'll get him on we'll get him on the podcast <clears throat> yeah he's hilarious i talked to him about it i fucking love that guy yeah so you did rich eyes in today yeah I what got, else have I you got done? wtf you got uh what i the had fuck serious with, i had to cancel that you had what the fuck with Marin? yep uh, what today five, five five uh yeah five o'clock five in silver lake uh glendale Oh, that'd be a cool drive, though. Not only that, because I don't have the Hey, juice Mark, let's Tesla. not do 5 o'clock. Well, I had to Is push Is that on it. you or him? I had to push it. It was supposed to be 4, and I had to push it to 5. Even 4? Yeah. God, that's dicey. Well, no, no, Unless it's, it's a two-hour interview. Yeah, it'll be it'll be what it is, but uh, at the end of the, the day- The traffic, bro. The traffic's crazy. You're and supposed to do serious? I don't have the juice in my Tesla. Tesla, for sure, get more fucking superchargers. <laughs> you get a gay car, you get gay results, bro. You might be right. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Gay, gay, gay car, gay results? Yeah. Why you gotta be a homophobe about it? I'm not. You're bro. using gays and just kind of gay as in. Nah, gay as in, yeah, yeah, the same way Brits use the word fag. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's well, dicey. Fag is usually a cigarette. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Do you have a, do you have a fag? Do you have a fag. Yeah. I grew up with that term. Yeah. They say that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, did. your mom is English. Correct, dude. Um, so mm. you're going to run out of juice. You're not going to make it. Don't ask for a ride. Way too busy, but we'll figure Remember it out. I had to pick you up Probably with your get Porsche. You Uber. Yeah. Well, my Porsche. Yeah, you're talking about the lemon I had? Yeah. The, the on lemon? the side of the highway, on the 405, I had to come pick Brennan up. My fucking Fuck. lipstick orange uh, GTS? Yeah. Well, that was a mistake by the 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 engineers on the on the engine. Mm. They fucked up. Mm-hmm. G- GT3 has no problem. How about the comedy store? The, you know, I, I pull in last night, and uh, when I pull in the uh, door guys, you're like, oh, thank God he didn't drive the truck. I'm like, is it that big of a problem? They're like, we just got a plan for it, man. It's just, it kind of stressed everyone out. I'm like, oh, yeah. dude, I will never drive that thing here. Uh, I had no idea. Yeah, They're like, we just have to plan for it because yeah. we can't really turn. And we can't, I'm like, oh, don't, say no more. Yeah. I will never bring that, that was, here that's again. A, that's a giant. I will tr- never bring it here. It's, well, it's my daily driver now when I. Oh, it is? Yeah, I drive it every day. Why is that? So it's, you, it's, you, it's, you the, it? it's an S class of trucks. So oh. it's like. It's so comfy and I got my, I got everything going on. No effort. It takes no effort. No, it's great. Super safe. Would I like it? It's not the truck for you. No, you no, you stay in that Tesla. Why do you say that? Because remember when I said gay Tesla? Yeah. Gay results? Yeah. Well, there's there's reason why you're why you gravitate towards the Tesla. So reason I have shingles. The, the Tesla It's not for a shingle no. ridden fifty two year old. No, there's no one with shingles driving Fords, bro. Jesus. Not Raptors. I, some, I got sensitive skin Maybe and, and, and a raptor's not for me. Yeah. It's not a big deal, dude. But how about speaking of people dying, um, Jeez. Oh, my, yeah. my barber, right? I used to have that joke I made about Jesus. Yeah. Remember, it's on my the special that comes out. He died. I go in to get my hair cut today. Uh, again, I have, I have this joke. It's in my, my special where I talk about how you, I've got the same haircut from this the same guy for the last fucking seven years yeah. since I moved to LA. That's a big Named deal. Jesus. That's part of, that's, that's He's a, the best. Lincoln Barbers off uh, Lincoln, Venice, California. I go there all, every Tuesday. I'd get my haircut every fucking Tuesday. And I went today since I, I moved from where I currently live. Uh, so I live farther away. So I can't go as often. And I'm growing my hair like Bradley Cooper. We'll get to that. So I haven't been as much, it's right? Gonna the fuck I know. Sexy. I haven't, uh, sexy. Dead sexy. I haven't been as much. You have shingles. So when I got there, um, you know, I was hoping. I knew he had a heart attack. But I figured he'd come back from it. So then I'd see How on the. Was he? Excuse me? Oh, no. 48. Yeah. Not, oh, I'm not, 46, three kids and oh, a wife. No. The night, there's a picture I posted on my Instagram chin that I go, look, everybody, it's Tom Segura's brother, Mexican brother. And I fucking go in today, passed away, dude. They had pictures all over the pl- I'm like, no way. Oh, that's Made so me sad. super sad, man. That's really sad. Super sad. It's, it's an old one, right? sad for his family, too. Yeah, man. keep going. I really Tom was him. not pleased I 
said he looks like this guy at all. Yeah. Yeah, I just did Tom's, uh, your mom's house, and they were not, they, Christina and him did not appreciate that. Obviously, yeah. they were kind of joking. You tell they weren't happy about it. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's fucking, Bummer. I can't believe it. And I go, what happened? They said, just had a heart attack. And then his, his brain never responded. And then they call it the widow maker. A lot of, a lot of guys, when you get to be, I had a member of the cardiologist had so told me, I know, dude, he said, you'll lose friends between the age of 45 and 55. Dude, I get checked out because that, because if you, you can have a compromise in your aorta or whatever, it's called the widow maker. And dude, and the nicest out. guy. Sucks. And I, I'm telling you the best barber, the best barber I've ever had. I can't believe he passed away. Damn. Damn. And you can tell they're all pretty shook from it. Of course like his they chair, they'd leave. You know, it's like. Oh, man. What a bummer. What a bummer. Well. We could see him here at least. Right? There he is. That's him. Oh, what a great guy. Look at him. And they do. They are not happy. No, how can you be happy, man? Well, I'm saying Tom and Chris, you aren't no. happy. Did you, that doesn't look like Segura at all. <laughs> Am I crazy? Am, am I fucking crazy? They're, he look, they're both human, so you can see that there is a resemblance <laughs> there. They, is there no they're similar? Human. Sim, they're not similar at I all. See, not, not even, oh, not wow. even a little bit. They're just thick guys. Wow. Yeah, just Maybe it's just the beard? They're both the humans beard. and males. Wow. Every every day since I walked down, I went, God, he reminds me of Segura. <laughs> cool. Wow. I think they sound similar, too, so I think maybe because you don't know them. Yeah. Like, they have similar vibes. Mm. So then finally, I posted that, tag Tom. He, they not crazy happy about that no like really but whatever yeah well and so on his show he showed a bunch of kids with down syndrome said this is who we think you look like <laughs> well all right interesting yeah that's great well, yeah. well <laughs> all right interesting yeah so well, shout out to them Sh terrible story about that barber though yeah bummer right shingles death a lot of stuff going on on a wednesday i know dude i know yeah. man i know uh, bro I can't charge my tests you know, I know, bro. So poor me. Poor me. I can't charge my Tesla. I have so many problems. Yeah, you do have a lot of problems. Yeah. Um, Compared to everybody Dude, else. I took a little shot of uh, uh, Johnny Walker last night. Mm. A, just a nice shot of Johnny Walker. Mm. One beer. Mm. I felt loose, bro. You did? I felt loose. When you, I think you that's perform? my routine. Yeah, perform? I was at the comedy store. Yeah. That's my routine, I think, from now on. That's One how shot, starts. nice little beer, yeah. then boom. A, then a, then a little now, bump, little now, bump. Now take this. <laughs> now take this clip. Fast forward a year from now, Brendan's not showing up. Yep. Brendan's dead broke. Yep. He grew his hair out Brendan's everywhere. Brendan's living with Brian Callen. Yep. It's not good. No. Here's grown out. Yep. I'm Venice Beach. <laughs> Doing this a lot. <sighs> Could happen. And then you rob me. You just rob me. You just. You no, no, I'll be, like, be like guy who hustled you. Like, dude, you know I get good for it, man. Just give me two grand Let to get out of the hole grand. and then we'll figure it out. Bro, they called me the other day. I need six How grand. crazy is that? I haven't heard from that guy. How crazy oh, is really? that? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, no shit. He I mean, sucks, that's dude. Surprising. He sucks, man. Yeah. Whatever. We got the powerful- You got money out of me. Oh, yeah, he's well. fine. We got the powerful Joe Coy on the show today. Yeah. Where's one, he at? One of my faves. He'll be here at uh, 110, he said. All right, nice. 110, he's coming from- sorry. Are Love you excited Joe to do Marin? Are you going to call him out? Tell him, hey, my friend Brendan Schaub says you hate him. Okay. Do that. All right. He doesn't like me because I'm, I'm a former jock. Oh, is that, was that what you heard? Yeah, I'll that's, get to that's the bottom the of it. Yeah, I was supposed to be on the show and then... Just come in. Th Just come in in the middle of the uh, web episode. Just and bully him. But it's his house. Yeah. It's in his garage. How about uh, that guy? Kill he kills it though, man. He yeah, it. he's a great, great interviewer. He's a great interviewer. <laughs> I mean, he had the president on. Yeah. Yeah, Mark is... You ever uh, talk to him about that? No, I how will. The how the Secret Service came, excuse me, a week early, put snipers on top of all the houses... And shut off the road. Yeah, they don't talk to him about it. Around. Every time a president <clears throat> moves, they say it costs like a million dollars just to move one from point. Dude, point think to if you're Trump, off. think how hard it is to fuck your or side pieces. Think how creative he has yeah, to get. Yeah, you're not going to do that. Excuse me? You think he's still doing it? Oh my God. What? I like the way you held the what. I wanted dude, you to hold it a little and longer. And Bill Clinton? The next time, hold dude, it a little longer. Dude, they did their thing, man. The Secret Service. You think? Oh, uh, you! They're the fucking commander of the free I, world, dude. I understand, dude. but so they go, hey, guess what? You fucking CIA special service fucks. Here's the thing. Yeah, El Hancho here likes to bust loads. Yes, you guys are gonna shut your fucking mouths. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm gonna throw you in prison. Well, Clinton did that a while lot. I bust nuts underground. But when Clinton was governor, he did that. Oh, of course. But but and 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 that fine. president, bro. But Got his dick sucked in the Oval no, Office. No, I understand that. But I, I, it'd be harder with all those people watching every move you make. 
No, not with Secret Service because they and they signed non disclosure, so they can't tell anyone. Kathleen McKinley is that her name? Whatever she said that when she came to Clinton to for, ask for help for her husband, um, he he was holding the tray. He gave her the tray, and she held the tray, and he started feeling her tits yeah. right there. Oh yeah, and she was like, "Good old she Billy goes, boy." He's just feeling my. He's attacking me here. Yeah, and I I I feel like I'm going to. Uh, I'm basically going to spill everything. Mm. And my mother goes, you know why I believe her? I go, why? She goes, because that's exactly what a woman would say <laughs> and and think in that in that instance. Like, you're going to spill everything. Yeah, I don't know about that. Is that her? I don't know if that's I'll, her I'll tell you what, though. Yeah, By the way. Tough. I'll tell you what, though, about uh, Bill Clinton, though. His side pieces were not hot. He was just like, it's too hard out here yeah, in the streets. Let me just... Well, you come they in, were, you, you ask for, they were you ask for help, women, and it, right? What they were buxom women. He liked the bucks? big, he liked the, the big bucks. He liked the big mouth on a girl. A buxom? Yeah, the buxom, buxom. B u x o m means uh, robust. Round. Yeah, curvy. Robust. Yeah, yeah. He likes some robust. Yeah. No, I just think he likes whatever whatever came his way. He's a spider. Yeah. And there's a web, a yeah. dick web, and if you fell in that web, he was a pounding. Yeah. Uh, that one with the she's got a. Oh my god, you're yeah. talking about the original dick nose? She's the one who fucked up everything. Way to go, cunt. Come on, please don't, don't say that. Take that back. Don't say that. Please don't. I'm just saying, bro. She's don't the one use who the fucked C word. All you up. can't say that. That's Paula Jones, right? Yeah, she fucked it all up for everybody. Well, I think she got dragged into it, though, didn't she? Nah, she you ever seen that? The, dude, wow. you know he. Oh, oh, you don't know about this? No. You know, Elizabeth Hurley flew to the White House several times. Really? Oh, the rumor is she was sucking him off. Well, no shit. She's one of the hottest women on the planet. Yeah, and he's the most powerful man so on the planet. So what's wrong with that? What do you think they were... Oh, you oh. think she was giving him fucking she's advice so, on global so, warming? She's still so hot. Oh. She's one of the hottest ever. Ever. Oh, and, a, and an actress and that accent. How about and she's Elizabeth amazing. Hurley forced to deny claims that her and Bill Clinton hooked up? Dude, you don't hang out with old Billy boy and just fucking share a drink. Are you kidding? No, she dude. She came to the White House. Mm. I would love. I would. I Can would. Absolutely. That th that would be the whole reason to be a president. Has there ever been a single president? No. Like a single president, yeah. like a just player. Not that I know of. Dude, imagine if a single president was in the White House and he just fucking. She's look just, at her at fifty three. She's like, what could they she's do? The Frank Grillo of women. Like what? Easy, gay boy. Hey, what could they do? <laughs> what could they possibly do? Let's say, let's say you were Jesus Christ, Medi Chen. Good for that. you. Wow. Well, she's looking for attention. <laughs> she's now. a woman. Everyone stops. God, I feel like kicking somebody right in their dick. She's just really gorgeous she's gorgeous top 10 bro fucking and top she's english 10. bro a fucking men top 10 oh fuck i feel like doing jujitsu right now and giving you my shingles <sighs> i like, I like to see it with the makeup off but oh, either I wanna way bro rub, i want to rub my fucking pustules on your face oh, right now god P pustule are you talking about your shingles yeah i'm talking about my shingles mm. apparently i have to stay away from very Dude, small infants. who's the fucking yellow bastard oh, on the no. top left he's there. a jockey He's a he's a horse oh, rider. God, yeah. He's a, he, he's a jockey. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's got a, he's, he's got, got a, in the back line when God said, "I'm giving out good looks." Hey, in the back. <laughs> Come on, man. You never know. Small maybe guy it, in the back. Maybe it's just the angle in the back. Uh, yeah. any angle. That's so you know, who sucks weight more than fighters is jockeys. They got to suck weight. A lot of drugs and a lot of weight sucking. Oh, I know. You know what though? What? Who gives a fuck? Oh, because you're riding another animal, oh, sir. Sir. Look at me. Are you light? I'm light. Do you know how much money is involved in horse racing? Do you know tons how, of money. You know, you know what a horse, a top line no, 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 race no, horse I, I know your wa you know wife like race horses. $500 million. Dollars. No, I know. That's fantastic. Doesn't mean shit about no, no, jockeys. No, I'm talking about race horses. Yeah, and no. The jockeys, horses, there's a ton. The jockeys you need, there are specific jockeys that are winning. You got to have the right jockey because there are certain weight and everything. Don't fuck around about, you don't know enough about jockeys. I definitely know about it. It's still a. Don't ever, don't speak about it. I don't like the, the how you're treating it with a lack of respect. Oh, it's a joke. I need respect for it. It's you. a complete joke. What? Yeah. What is? If, if you're a small guy, like you're maybe just an inch above a jockey or like no, a weight fighter. No, I'm, so 
No, I'm see not. Why you're me? Defensive? Yeah. They're you they're five four, dude. No, you could be a jockey. They're five four, one one fifteen. No, you could be a jockey, sir. You'd have to lose some weight, but you could be a jockey. No, I could not. I'm too robust. No, you're not. I'm way you're too robust enough, and buxom. No, I'm not. Do you see? If you're born you the size shit. of a jockey, what occupations do, can you really? They're do? very small people, but they have to suck weight, and there's a lot of drugs, and they're they're cowboys, dude. They're on drugs. They're cowboys. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in a horse world, dude, which you don't well, know no, shit about. In the f- stupid horses, everyone knows that. No, brainiac. dude. No, the You're actual talking with people. the jockeys. Yeah, it's a it's a very corrupt world too. It's the sport we, of kings. We, we all know with this. gamblers. No, we know this. We know this. But the jockeys, hundreds of millions of dollars with criminals, kings. Everybody's everybody's involved in horse racing, dude. Arab well, sheiks, you don't understand. No, I know horse racing. I'm saying you're saying the jockeys are on drugs or the yeah, horses. There's a lot of drugs among jockeys. A Why lot of cocaine? Because they hate their lives. They tried to. They because may try to make several. Look at how small they are. They they're really tiny. But Dude, you could be a jockey. Stories. If you say that one more time, I'm gonna wait till my shingles heals up and I'm gonna knee you in Ooh, the face. Oh, dude, please don't touch me with your shingles. Okay, it's then shut so up. contagious. It's not actually for an adult. Chin. Yeah. Google shingles contagious. No infants. You, I, I stay away from infants and very old people. So don't hang with newborns or old people, and I'll be and you'll be fine. Because you have shingles. Virus is spread through direct contact with fluid from the rash blizzard caused by shingles. Once the rash has developed crust, the person no longer infectious. Yours doesn't look crusty. Yeah, shingles is less contagious than chicken pox, and the risk of a person with shingles spreading the virus is low if it's covered, but if not, will spread like wildfire. <laughs> okay. It doesn't say that, sir. I think it does. You, I think you added that. Now, now you're in your poor cat I'm shingles. a shingles kid, ladies and gentlemen. Can, sh- can you get shingles in the mouth? I don't know. Probably you can get it everywhere. <sighs> look at how short those guys are don't ever say that i'm look at how tiny they are dude you could be a jockey and don't. you know this bro. i tower over those girls i'm a tall guy you're the same size as the girl in the blue no i'm not i'm a tall guy wow yeah jockey's a weird world huh it's a really do they weird. stunt their growth no it's just they're short people and they live around horses and like everything else wow look at the so small. little black one yeah Look at the little black one. Look at the little. I'm gonna is, say it again. Hold on. Is he not black? He right? Is, black. is he not African American? He's black. And he's also little. and is he small? So all you said was There's look nothing at the racist black there. One. I can say look at the little white one, and we don't want to know who I'm talking about because they're all white and little. Yeah. It's chin zoom in on him. So is he take, Indian look at though? The one with more melanin in his skin. No, no that's he's a black, black dude. He's black and he's tiny. Oh, and the guy next to him is black too. He's mulatto. He's mixed. Mulatto. They're both. Small black. Here's people. here's something. I don't, I'm just spitballing ideas here. Yeah. It's, I know horse racing has been around forever. Why aren't there more midget riders? Uh, because they would kill it. They're so strong. <laughs> I don't know. And light. Yeah, and but just probably not as athletic because you have to be athletic. Oh wow, you went there, huh? You, well, you really oh, do. Oh wow. Because you have to be up in your stirrups and you wow. have to move with the horse. And the main thing you have to do is not be in the horse's way. So you have to have an insane sense ah, of rhythm. Shut up, though, bro. <laughs> shut up. Bring up. Or, or midgets can do bring all up that. jockey riding in slow motion and watch how. Oh, how my jockey God. God. Or, or if you have a noose, you hand oh, that over. That guy is a midget or a dwarf or whatever the word is. Little people, dude. I, I just Googled it, but I think they're just images of people dressing up as. Yeah, them. that's true. Um, there has to be a reason why they don't put them on there. Yeah, you got to be a really excellent rider. You said jockey ride. Riding a horse? Yeah. And slow motion? Yeah. Oh, there's a video of Brian on KTLA. Where? Right there, dude. Oh, is it today? Yesterday. I know for current events, you got that bitch from Full House getting arrested. Yeah. She yes. Oh, I know. For, for, for let's Hoffman. get to that. We get let's to it with that. Joe Wait, Coy. so the whole slow motion one first? Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I the, guess. Look at these. I don't Watch give the a athleticism fuck. here, dude. Nah, they're not athletic, though. You're hanging on to an huh? athletic horse. Uh, so we're just going down to meet it. There's so much to horseback riding. Look at this. Oh, my oh, God, dude. Look at him hang on. He's going 45 <laughs> miles an hour. Whoa. Look, 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 look. See how close he is? You Whoa. have to do everything yeah, just you gotta right. Yeah, you hang right on the you horse. You have to do everything just yeah, right. Yeah, like this on look, the horse. Look, look, look. Arms out. You know what, Darrell? You've been hanging around the fucking... And you're up in your stirrups the whole time, bro. Holy yeah, man. Your legs have to be crazy strong. Yeah, not a and sport. And you cannot make one little mistake. No, not a sport. You know what I'm saying? Not, not one sport. little mistake. Not a sport. It is a sport. That's no. ridiculous. The horse is, though. Yeah, it might be a skill over a sport. This is the age-old debate, right? Golf a sport or a skill? Skill. Skill. So that looked amazing. Please turn this off, Jim, before I shoot myself in the <laughs> face. <laughs> yeah. It's more about getting out of the way of the horse. So that would be a skill. Oh, no, he disappeared. The KTLA stuff? Yeah. How I is it? Those morning shows are always interesting. They are always interesting. 
they're just out of touch. They're a little. Hey, here we are with Brian Callen. Little, Brian, I loved you on Entourage. Oh well, I wasn't on there. A little glassed you know, over. A little glassed over. They're just they're going through the motions. It's amazing. I don't do press anymore. You know that? I don't do press I anymore. Don't as far as like to go when I'm on the road, like, hey, can you come on KTLA and talk about? I'm like, absolutely not. Yeah, I, that does not help. I think just do podcasts. You know, they're, they're they're, popular. you're your own publicist now yeah. through your social media and your friends and our 100%, network of friends. One hundred percent. It's, they're just so out there. They have no idea what the fuck. Let's watch Brian about. Callen on his new stand. That's special. the that's the channel. That's the show that I watch the mostly. The local one, Channel Five. It's the best Brian one. And Brian Callen suggests that men are complicated apes, and you take on, amongst others, dads who drive minivans who should be taken on. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think I, that guy's interesting. Men, but we are complicated apes, and I think we're treating each other like nouns. So I'm kind of trying. You know, we use these words that don't mean anything when you talk about somebody. You like white, black, Latino, Asian, 48 countries in Asia, but you know what we mean, right? <laughs> so I'm kind of making an argument for the fact that we are basically we we cover the. Let's whole get that surgery on the eyes, though, huh? Dude, you know, the whole the whole seriously, spectrum, you, got, right? you got hang gliders I, hanging up your eyes. I know, eyes. dude. Because I, you know, the public debate in the public square is a very cruel place. Mm. You get caught doing one thing wrong, and everybody, all of us, have at least 10 thoughts. Hey, bro, make know, me laugh, though, huh? That would get us fired. Right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Are you a and professor? Moments, Look, you know? I mean, I've had fights with my wife where you would have called Homeland Security, but <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm a bad guy. I was just having a moment. And we need to start treating people that way. So it's, the, whole, the whole thing is kind of an argument to be a little more forgiving and just a little I'm bit like, more. I'm like, I'm having a moment. That yes, could just be right. sum it up. Thank God I'm having a moment. <laughs> I don't want to be the same person in you know, public or at work as I am in bed. It'd be boring. <laughs> is this a family show? I went to get my, my this is, I use it as a prop when I say something. Right. I fake drink my water. Uh -huh. very oh, very good. Uh, so I, charming. I, I've seen Brian perform uh, several times. You, you make audiences laugh. Uh, you've got some acting. You make on. audiences laugh. Just a second. Yep. Look at uh, talk shit. to us about your podcast, The Fighter and the Kid. The Fighter and the Kid is basically a podcast where Brennan Schaub, who is a UFC heavyweight, uh, was really, really funny, and I said, why don't we do a podcast together? Because I was hanging out with Joe Rogan, and, and who's a dear friend, and he was just making us laugh. This fighter, this giant fighter is killing us. So we started doing a podcast, and it's basically a comedian and a cage fighter, and we both get paid for what we got in trouble for our whole life. You're talking about a guy who punches people in the face for a living, yeah. and I, I, I'm- You talk like I'm still fighting, though. That's an issue. <laughs> what a surprise that, you know, we get, I don't know, how, yeah. like, the five million or 10 million downloads, yeah. it's, it's nuts. I had no idea it'd be this big. Uh -huh. No what? idea. So what, I guess I'm talented. Right. That, was the or, that was the origin. The chairs. Yes. But you seem a little tight. Are you scared of him? Well, around him, I produce estrogen. Uh, okay. <laughs> he's, he's a, he gets me in touch with my feminine side. He's a he's a, he's a giant man, a handsome man too. <laughs> there he is. Brian's oh, making yeah. us watch an interview on himself. Yeah, let's get this. You oh, saved us oh, oh, oh. just in time. Oh, Brian's oh, been doing. Oh, oh. Press. Joe Coy, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Brian's Coy. been doing Mark press, and he's making us watch his interview. Saved us. I, I was actually. Thank like, God. Hey, I gotta get the old eyes done though, huh? Well, yeah, and also when they bring me up, don't go. He's a fighter uh, in UFC. All right. Hi, Baba. Hi. How are you? What's up, brother? What's up, man? Hey, Glad you're here. You? I'm good. Yes. Thank you for your love hands. the kicks. Love the outfit. Oh, thank you. Gucci, love those huh? Gucci kicks, man. Yeah. You making been, some money? Well, I've been doing that since uh, day one. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You little really? hood rich at first. A little hood rich. Yep. I'm just getting over that. Hunt. Yeah, yeah. Spend it before I had it. You yeah, know. Yeah. Nordstrom rack. Are you not good with Buy money? Buy at Neiman Marcus. Leasing. You always spent more than you. Always, always did. I'm, I'm the same way. I'm the I'm the worst. I am. When I was when I was uh when I was coming up. I'd, I'd work at Nordstrom Rack and I worked at uh, Borders Books and literally spend my paychecks on, on Gucci shit. At Nordstrom's Rack? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. pictures of me like like in a newspaper. I got a picture and I'm wearing a Gucci bucket hat. And I remember like spending my whole paycheck that I, I, I made at Mirage. I was working at the Mirage right. just for that, that, that Gucci bucket hat. You know what's interesting? How, you know, it's like hilarious. Gucci, like it's, it's like the hottest thing, right? The hottest brand. It's like it's crossed over into like pop culture and rap mm. now gucci and a lot of those brands have come out like anti like urban like they've they've oh, done some and they, stuff and they made they, it they don't want them that the product's really not for the urban lower class society they don't want them having we were just talking about this goal. yesterday really? I, I love that you're saying that it's kind of like uh they don't like rappers with the name gucci main they hate it they don't want, they think it devalues even though, the product. Even though they have literally brought their sales up through the roof. But did you know they, so it's like all, all these fashion houses, like 
there's a main fashion house that owns like Gucci, YSL. All they're all under the same banner. I knew it. They're all under the same. Did you know research that. this? Yeah, there's. I'm wading through fashion. So there's one like house, and yeah. then there's all these brands that branch off of it. So they mess with the pricing and releases of all the thing. But everyone, they're making the same. They're nut. making the same and then product. They, they don't make money off their shoes and clothes. For they actually, it's a loss for them. They make money off their perfumes and everything, bags and everything. Yeah, else. the cheap shit. Yeah, the cheap shit. Really? Yeah, the that's cheap just shit. like a side hustle. Yeah, I could see that because the shoes are. Yeah, these are nothing uh, to, uh, as far as profit. But that bag is bullshit. Bullshit. It's bullshit. What's it cost? That bag. Are you kidding? That probably at oh, the dude. most that costs them like ten bucks for that bag. At you, the you'll, most, you'll pay thirty five hundred dollars for the lowest have, level Hermes bag, and it's oh uh, uh, thirty five hundred be tough. That's yeah. yeah. I'm talking about Hermes. Yeah, Hermes thirty five hundred be tough. To, that, that's low. I, got I know. So so many Whoa. of those damn bags. I'm addicted. You are? Yeah, I have a lot. I have of a lot what? of it. Just I buy it. I buy it. I buy the bags, bags, the backpacks. We're consumer, dude. Why? Because it's Culture an addiction. Vultures. It's a it is. What, what I, is okay, it look, this is how bag. this is why this is why this is why I have an addiction to it. I don't I don't do drugs. I don't do I don't drink. Yeah. And one thing I've always been into is fashion. And I've always I, I always loved buying the nice things. So that's okay, that's wait, my addiction. Like, Even when I was a I, kid too, like Jordans, same every, thing. It was like I had to have I had to have it. Bro, wait. I used to work at at at, at, at finish line i think yeah. when i was too. like 18 and i remember putting uh jordan fours on layaway and like every paycheck i was putting yeah but i want to know the psychology the psychology behind it because i know a woman who spends her husband buys her really expensive stuff because she grew up poor so and it was humiliating for her so when she shows up in a gucci bag and really nice clothing she's treated differently by the I think people that's valet and stuff i, think that's I know that's so what i'm saying so when you grow up poor that can be humiliating so you want nice shit yeah what 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 do you think it was about you that that caused you to? Do I was that? broke. Yeah, yeah, I was broke too. So I think it was a status at. thing. I think it was just like I don't think it's that. Like when you come in, I don't think. Well, you're like, you like nice successful, but I'm like, oh, thank God he put himself together. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think of that. It's it's almost like a language. Like when you, like I can talk to him about this is a dope outfit. Mm. You got the rolly on you. Well, you just rolly. like fashion for the. Art I know, of it. but it's but it's not because I don't like it because I know because I because we know Joe's success when he has money. That's not why I like it. Mm. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I just like the I don't nicer know what it things. Is. I don't know what it is either. It's like Kanye's line when he says, uh, "I spent it before I had it." Yeah, you know what I mean. What is that Versace? Like. Yeah. Mm. He didn't even know how to say it, right? Yeah. But he's got to wear it. I don't know. That's that's all. I had an acting mean. teacher who used to say that to his students. He'd go, I think you should buy the Ferrari before you can afford it. I just think it's a good motivator. It is. I was like, oh, it is. shit. It is. Because if you believe yeah. in yourself, do it. There's a book out there that says dress for success. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the, the, Correct. they mean it. Like Ro fucking, Rogan was like that. Rogan used to always like spend money and wouldn't save a lot and i was like well, what, what are you doing he'd be like i, I have confidence in myself yep you know, that's back in the day Ro rogan's, really the, rogan's the guy if you're gonna whenever i do like a major purchase something i usually go talk to rogan about it mm -hmm. and he's always like you're just getting started you get it you're just getting started it's not gonna be shit he goes the yeah. house you buy now you're gonna laugh at in five years yeah like jesus dude he goes get it trust me i, yeah, I know where you're get going it. get it Anyone that talks themselves out of stuff, you just continually talk yourself out of shit. But, but there are but, always, but there's that easy. But there's yeah. stupid people, right? Like mm -hmm. I think there's a fine line, and uh, the reason why there's a fine line is because I think a lot of people fall in the trap. They see like rappers that fuck up, or like a uh, or, uh, athletes, or, or athletes. athletes, rappers, or an uh, actor who made one sitcom yeah. and bought a place in the fucking Palisades. Yeah, but they only have that. You know, acting is up and down. Yeah, like yeah it is. Well, we do. There's longevity. It's a different yeah. animal. But well, you also have to be smart with your success, right? Yeah, That's yeah, what you're yeah. saying. There's people that are stupid. They get a bunch of money and blow it. Correct. But there's also people that are like, we there's get a, a bunch fine of money, line. but we also know how to continue making that money. Correct. We're also, also there are people that turn their money into money, and also th there is something to be said about saving money. I mean, exactly. Oh, for be, sure. And, and being long term, in your investing thing. your money, and that's why I own a restaurant. <laughs> Boom. Where's, the, where's my camera? <laughs> right and, oh, that, and, and that's and that's why I own a restaurant. You, you in Vegas, right? Joe, your, your sister runs Joe, it, stop, right, Joe? Joe <laughs> yeah. Joe, stop. This yeah. is not a time for you to. I'm just trying to get you a Rolex, but. <laughs> what am I? What, what are you doing? That's a fake laugh, dude. Dude, you're doing it. Hi, I'm successful, and so is he. 
Not so much. Hey, what the fuck, Joe? I'm just saying, this is my play shirt, and you're showing off a news clip wearing my sweatshirt? <laughs> I'm not wearing your fucking You're trying to promote your brand with my... <laughs> that, I'm not promoting your brand. You're, you're being a Will jerk. You just work out, and then... That's a fucking the cashmere. morning news? That's ca cashmere oh. sweatshirt? Yes. That's a fucking Russell Athletics. <laughs> That's you got right. that from Dick's. Take it back, dude. I'm not taking it. Take that shit back. back right now. Look at it. You can't even fix that in the color code thing. The, <laughs> when you try and adjust the color, <laughs> that's always going to be shit gray. Fuck There's you, nothing. man. Shit gray. No, it's not. Gray takes, brings out my eyes. Uh, you don't have eyes. I do, too. For success. What? No eyes for Boom. success. You know. Roasted. Boom. What's your fucking restaurant so I can not go? It's dropped it. It's, it's in Vegas, restaurant? right, Joe? Yeah, it's in Vegas. What do you serve? Your, your, your sister. What do I serve? Philippine? Success. Philippines? No, no. I serve, it's, it's Japanese. It's ja Shabu Shabu. And you're, but your sister runs it for you? My sister runs it. That's she dope. also does my data. She's amazing. Without her, I'd, really? I'd be I, That's I, your that's restaurant? Right. Yoje? Yoje. Yoje Shabu Shabu. Yoje. Oh, there it is. Yeah. In Vegas. Damn, that looks kind of nice. Where's it, where it in Vegas? Beautiful. Look at that. Uh, it, it's it's wow. by, I got, a, I got a house out there. It's right by my, my mom's house in my house. All right, don't oh, brag. Don't, like, bra well, don't brag. Don't brag. I'm not <laughs> well, it's between my mom's house and I have another house out there and then the restaurant's to the that's right. Not, I'm not Wow! Sorry, dude. I'm not bragging that I have a house out there that's paid off, and I bought my mom's. <laughs> Wait, why did you say? Huh? You said it's paid off. No, I paid off. I, I bought it. Okay, dude. I know people we know lease that. their houses or make payments. I bought. Okay, I bought I know, my dude. house, you're and making... then I bought my mom's. All right, she you're doesn't doing have to well. worry about it. She's living a nice life. Okay, you're doing. Where's well. my camera? It's there. <laughs> camera? Dude, oh. you're yeah, my to... mom doesn't have to worry about dude, well, you know, you're bills. Supposed to talk to us. This is you've changed so much. Since you got, hey, you, how is, about that your, is that your how, intern? Yeah, yes. did you get my drink? Oh, um, yes, yes. Hey, how, how about when I went on his show? <laughs> hey, B, B, how about when I went on his show? I went, dude. I, I we were talking about something. I said selling out uh, the Wilbur. I went sold out the Wilbur like six times. <laughs> Correct me. Right. How many was it? No, he said uh, you you sold out the Wilbur. Uh, no, no, you talked about Hawaii. You're like, yeah, and you sold out you sold out Hawaii like eight times. I go, it was eleven. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I was like, oh shit! Yeah. It was eleven. It was eleven. 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 But who's counting? But who's counting? But who's counting? You but have blown up, dude. It's been fun. And I and I think a lot of it was. And by the way, I'm. This is all fun. I'm not. Dude, you know what I mean, trust us. The fans do this. This yeah. is what we do. I here. love yes. this. Yeah. yeah, I really do. You and I, I remember you and I, man. And I, I remember like uh, at the Laugh Factory, and then you would walk in. How long my, was this? My, oh man. 12 no no longer man this is 12 years ago what are we talking? I think my son, yeah, all right go fuck yourself hey, bro. all right what are you talking hey. about what are you talking about yeah, where did that come from that. no yeah, i don't know from? i'm just spitballing no you're I know not, you're not spitball. spitballing no we need That's, time no, frame you know what I mean? a time frame so you reference the what what is that the 80s what 80s the 80s 82 yeah it was the it was in the, in the 2000s bro yeah oh, well, okay so yeah. you guys don't know each other that well okay all right has anyone called you this a son of a bitch yes many of times Man, so this I'm is sorry, early two thousands. Early two thousands. But yeah. I, I just used to I used to love watching this guy, man. I just uh you you would walk in, you had, like a Wednesday night. Cause I was doing every night at the Laugh Factory. Yeah. Uh, Jamie was my manager, and then he would walk in and I would just literally like, fuck, this guy's talking about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nothing. And crushing. Yeah. <laughs> crushing. He did this one thing about just standing. He goes, wouldn't it be great if you just stand like this <laughs> all day? I, I, what are you doing? I'm standing. And he did that for like five minutes. That was his set. But that I love that. That's what I love about, about us. We learn from each other yeah. and, 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 and your confidence and, and your ability to just be like, I'm just going to talk about this and I don't give a fuck where it goes. And, and, and that's, and we I've, used to, ta we used to, I've, ta I've taken that from you, the, the, that ability to just like talk right. and just Whatever it is that's on my mind, just say it. And if, fu if funny comes out of it, then funny comes well, out of like it. Well, I like that I made you. And then that, that I've always... You did not make me. No, but I Because mean, what I, I learned from I, you is to not do what you no, do. No, I like that I molded you. And, and then nope, I let you... No, you didn't mold I, me at all. No, I just, I, uh, just, if I did, uh, I broke it. No, no, but I... I <laughs> he's what another, I like, he's what another I like pupil. Because it was, it was him, then Chris D'Elia? No, no, no. What I, to you? Listen, what I mean is I like that you were in the nest. I was feeding you worms. No. And then I let you... And when you grew feathers, I released you. And that's what I appreciate. No, that's not what happened. Where's my camera? Well, no, no. That's not what happened. 
yeah. yeah. You're supposed to talk to that's not, There's only one camera, by the way. Where is it? Yeah. It's that not like you're on a, like a TV just, set. Just, just know it's camera. like it. Where's the light? <laughs> is it, no. Joe, oh, it's this one again? Joe, you're talking. It's a podcast. I, I understand. You just know that if I want to shoot you out of the sky, it I, won't I happen. Can do that. Look. I'll wing well, it. I'll wing thank it. God for him, huh? What? You know what I mean? What are you talking about? No one's about? listening to the kid. What the right? fuck? Right? If you dude. really think about it. You're turning If you me. really think about it, if this splits, this show splits, yeah. no one's listening to the fucking kid. <laughs> hey, dude, that's about what? 5% of the show? <laughs> hey! You don't know that. You don't have metrics Watch for that. what happens. I have analytics. Where do you get those? I know someone here in this Who? building. What's his name? Korean guy. <laughs> well, Koreans Korean know guy. their shit. I'm just saying, Koreans are good with computers. Wait, Chin's Korean. Where's my camera? Uh, <laughs> oh, to all my Korean people, you know. You're not you Korean. Analytics. But no, seriously, they're already thinking about the fighter pod. What? Doesn't that even, that even flows good. It's it, bad. I don't think The yeah, fighter. You gotta read. The you fighter the podcast. The kid. The point there. Kid. What? Who? Old news, bro. What? Can't even sell shirts. You know what he and I used to do when, when, when before anything happened for us? I'd be like, we'd try to out success each other, and I'd be like, you and Joe I just bought a fucking. I'm, I bought a, a man. A, what was the word when you have a house with a lot of rooms? A mansion. You know? <laughs> and, and you'd be like, I know, I can't find one with a helicopter pad, and we just go back and forth. It's how, so stupid, Joe. For you, how long did it take before you started booming and as far as stand up? Because that, like last night, I was talking to some of the door guys. And we're talking about Jim Carrey, and they're like, "Dude, you know he was a door guy for eight years at the comedy yeah. store before anything broke for him." The, I can't uh, eight that's years. Yeah. You would Jim, think someone like Jim Carrey, Jim be Carrey like, eight years. David yeah. Letterman was parking cars at the comedy store. I, Jim, eight years. When I got the Tonight Show, I was fourteen years in. And uh, what age is this? Just so. Oh my! I was like thirty. I was thirty-four when I got the Tonight okay. Show. Yeah. And then, uh, and then uh, I was working at Nordstrom Rack. And, but that's also when the Tonight wow. Show meant something. I'm yeah. not saying it doesn't now. How about Sebastian? Different time. Waiter at Four Seasons for nine years. All oh. the time I knew him. Oh, that's right. At the Laugh Factor, I remember that. He would go up and, then he'd and he'd still have like a waiter outfit on. He'd have the white button up and yeah. black. Hair. That's right. What a, that's why, what that's why when I see that kind of success for you and for for Sebastian and stuff like that, yeah. it, is, it is so well earned. Like you, the, the amount of time you spent in those trenches yep. and doing that shit. And I remember when I think you got a Netflix special and people saw how funny Ooh, you were. I didn't get that. No, it, wrong, I wrong. Didn't, get it the didn't do his special. research. It wrong. Wasn't. No. Wrong. They said no to me. No, I know, they did. I know they did, but then they, got, then they bought it and then everything exploded. Because right? I shot it. Right. And that you should say that. Tell that us. story, Joe. No, 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 but I remember that. Did you yeah. know what happened here? No, I they, do. They said... Go, they said no to me. Like, they said no to me for over. like two years. Yeah, and then finally. Uh, so where did? But where? Did, so hold on. To go back, where would your? How many specials do you have? I had I had two and a half. If you consider my my half hour, yeah. that counts. On Comedy. Central. So you have two and a half. And where were those other two and a half? They were all on Comedy Central. Okay, carry on. Yeah. So two and a half specials. And so two and a half specials, and then it was four years before uh, Comedy Central offered again, <clears> and I, I turned down because I wanted. Netflix right. and I kept pursuing Netflix and pursuing him. I'm offering to fly him out, like just come see me, come see the routine. Trying to showcase for and him. The, yeah, I was trying to showcase for him, and then uh, and they said no. Finally, like they were like, you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and pass. Like you know what I mean? Like, I wonder why. Know, I don't know why Same either. And I and I, in no way am I offended by it. You know what I mean? Like they had their decisions, and that's fine. It made me hungrier, and I'm mm -hmm. glad they said no because I just I took my money. And I shot it myself. And uh, where at? I shot it in Seattle. And I, I took. I wore every single hat, man. I I, I was, I I, I the, the promoter. I, I rented out the theater. I got the lighting guy, the director, the pr producer, and I, I literally. That's what invested. you do, though, Joe. That's I, what you, I, that's where I, you came from. Yeah, man. Like I, they were gonna you say no to me, and then I was gonna show them. You don't know the story. <laughs> like no, I wanted to make a product where they would be like, "Oh yeah, that's a Netflix product." Yeah. Like I could have went and shot it on a on a budget. But then would they have bought it? No, you yeah. know, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the answer is, but I knew that if they're going to say no, well, then I'm going to shoot my own Netflix special. And you felt and like I'm going to show them why they should have said yes. Yeah. And you yeah. felt like you had to be on Netflix? Because I feel it, like you're at a level where you can, you don't have to be on Netflix. Just, you not before be that, not before that. Yeah. It was the Netflix special that where, where you went from mm. like playing, you know, clubs, some theaters, but then when they saw how good I you were. I was killing no, he the was killed clubs before. Before. I Yeah, was, I know. I was he was like, selling. No, because like, Chelsea lately, I know that. You were selling really well, but what I'm saying is that when Netflix, when people who didn't know you yeah. saw you with that algorithm, yeah. boom. It know, was over, it yeah. Exploded. 
But it, but but again, it's because you're so funny. They just more people needed to see that. But my thing, Thank Joe, you. is that don't don't you think? Let's say Netflix never happened. You, I think you would still be right where you're at. Oh yeah, hate to tell you. Thank I you, think man. Netflix is great, yeah. and they're, they're you know they're great at what they do. But if you would uh because of the your hustler ways, which started when you're young, Vegas, put on the shows, put out fucking yeah, flyers, man. hustling the Orange County, doing all that, you would have figured it out and released that material. Thank you. You could have done I would, it. On I was in my it head. It would have got out no matter what. In my head, when I was on stage, like performing that night. Even though in my head I was like, "Oh fuck, Netflix already said no," but I'm still trying to be funny, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then, uh, but I swear to God, because we taped two shows that night. In between shows, I remember looking at my whole team, and I was just like, "I don't give a fuck. I will sell this out of the back of my car, like Hammer did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Hammer would sell CDs out of the back of his car. Yep. I was like, I will do that. I will make. I will recoup this money. Like I wasn't sad about it, but I knew I had to do it. Right. You know? Which weird is because uh, maybe it's a a reflection on myself if if i would have went to netflix and they said no i went all right fuck them watch this and then blown it up elsewhere just to prove them wrong yeah i mean that's that's, that's the right road that's, that's the road you could you could take and you know, there's no wrong decision but although the fact is that that netflix is still got that market share it still has that algorithm and if you get in a good position on netflix you are going to reach a lot of people faster i will say this quickly. though youtube like, here's why classes. here's where i'm gonna argue with you even more than bit. netflix you still need to put out a good product of course oh, you, yeah. you still it doesn't matter be, where it ends up. I, I don't want anyone to think like oh i just need to shoot my special and give it to there's netflix of, and i'll blow it's stuff like you netflix. still need to make a good product Fuck oh yeah. there's a how many special on netflix some of them are awful yeah. some are a really lot bad and ask those comics how's it going on the road for them even though they have a special on netflix it didn't work that's not the end all be on yeah yeah that shit 100%. Fucking was crazy. It changed my life, man. Netflix yeah. did. Nef yeah, when, when that it, when happened, that, when that special dropped on Netflix, it was it was it was done. So and was it? Awesome. Thank it, God. It was like that. Yes, it was fucking. We like went that. back on the road. It was, it was just like everything was sold out for the whole year. Like Jesus. <clears> Australia, <throat> we're adding shows. Singapore, Malaysia. That's amazing. London, worldwide. Germany, yeah, everything, everything sold out. Like we couldn't even. We had to add shows. That's it was amazing. crazy. Hawaii, you sold fucking. Yeah, out, Hawaii. Man. We did the arena. We sold four arenas out. Jesus shot the shot another Netflix special and by the way I'm not I love Netflix thank you for saying no to me because sometimes you need that yeah. maybe I wouldn't have been as True. hungry maybe I wouldn't have performed as hard that night like yeah. I, I had something to prove but I yeah. think it says something about you because a lot of guys have been like fuck Netflix and then got down on themselves then maybe yeah. the special didn't, wouldn't go as well yeah. or you get super bitter yeah. start making fun of other comics who do have success yeah on that's, there's that's no what I see reason that's what for I that. see no I don't get that that's, that's there's so that. many that's mountain like tops, man. thinking man it's stupid doesn't help you. No, it doesn't. You know? But also, you being on Netflix doesn't. That, that's not why Cowan's not on Netflix. No. That's what comics don't get. Because you got special on Netflix doesn't mean I'm not going to get one. Yeah. Okay, it, exactly. it has nothing to do with. And it. we exactly. all have our own pla path. We all have our own road, our own journey. It's like don't worry about it. As long as you're focused on whatever it is you, you want, you're going to get up. There. You're yeah. going to end up there. Yeah. You as know what as I mean? long the minute you go sidetrack and go rogue and start driving on the gravel, yeah. that bumpy shit on the road that gets you nowhere, just no. harping and fucking being mad negative. About shit, yeah. Yeah. You your keep, fucking keep tires writing. pop. You yeah. know, you hit a nail and shit yeah. just slows down. Do you know man. who? Just stay on your fucking. Do you know who Andrew Schultz is? Yeah, oh, I love it. Comic from New York, yeah. right? So yeah. he's on Rogan tomorrow. Yeah. He's on Rogan tomorrow. He was just, he did mine. Yep, he, he did ours, right? He's out here doing an LA tour. He's back on Rogan tomorrow. Yeah. Um, he, his special. So funny, by the way. Uh, yeah, top five for me right now. Yeah, he's so, so funny. He didn't get picked up by Netflix or Showtime or anyone. It went, very cool, watch this. And then just started changing the game and releasing clips of his special in clips and segments. And yeah. then there's like six, di on six different yeah. segments. And then finally when it comes out, you watch all of it, but not all, the hour all at once yeah. in different segments. Yeah. And each segment's getting over a million views. Yeah, can you go and, down that route? And now, and now, what happens? Now, if you hear him, I listen to the show The Flagrant Two and Brilliant Idiots. Yeah. Now, all his shows are sold out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, what we're trying to say is we're not shitting on Netflix. I'm glad Netflix did that to me. It made me work harder. I love Netflix. They they've changed my life. I'm, I got two more specials that I'm about to drop. I on love Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. What what we're trying to say is. 
Don't let anyone deter you from whatever it is that you're trying to do. Exactly. Stay on that fucking grind and always stay focused. You're going to make it. Well, I think the the message is Netflix is in the end all be all. Yeah. As a comic, you can, there's, you, so many look at Andrew man. Schultz, what? Comedy Central, Showtime, HBO. You do it yourself just on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. There's iTunes. There's freaking. There's so many different platforms. Look at my Facebook. How about Amazon. you guys? My special You guys on blew up here. Different platforms. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brian, right? Yeah. Like this pod is fucking amazing like it changed your life yes and and you know and i'm happy for him because for years nothing was happening for him hey where's nothing. my camera <laughs> wait hold on what <laughs> nothing was happening that's for what, him. he did that? lots of things no that's he not, did lots of things hold, hangover yeah nothing happened no no, no. Uh, things happened though. mad I tv i think you were on mad yeah i was on mad no one even knew no 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 like, no, 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 no. This no 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 hold is, on no, one this, no i don't like where this could, is going he could have gave up no. and that's the message no. we're trying to say i don't think that's a message is he a talented friend it happened 65 years old i'm 52 Fucking! This 65. is sixty-five. This podcast is 65. terrible. You don't know that. At sixty, sixty, I like. I would have want to kill myself. No, at sixty. Like, but what are you doing? Not his no, like, guys. What am I doing with my life? That's not my. That's a bad impression. I want to end it all. <laughs> that's not how I'm I still talk. calling myself the kid. <laughs> that's not how I'm I... an old man wearing hip clothes. <laughs> I don't fucking talk like that, Joe Coy. Take it back. What are you doing right now? I saw this episode of him taking his shirt off and boxing. You have on Rogan. old tits. No, I on don't. Rogan. You have old tits. I got a great he has body. A weird you chest. have old. Take it back. You have, he had old man buff. No, I don't. You have old man, old buff. man, old man buff. buff. You have old man buff. Oh fuck. I'm not. That, that's not what this is about. We're about. Well, let me put these back. <laughs> I don't feel like those are even real glasses. They aren't. Oh, they are you son of a who bitch. makes those who makes those tom ford i'm rich. i fucking Ever knew you spent a fortune yeah. on those huh there was a 800 dollar glasses yeah just for the frame look dude, that's not even the, just for the frame dude. saint laurent you, jeans huh? dude you've changed bro <laughs> i'm not different you are you're so I'm pretentious not. You're like you're not even seeing me. Your eyes are glassed over. I'm looking at the no. fighter. <laughs> going that it should just you, be. But that. you haven't looked me in the eye once. I'm just like I not can't. even a person. God I can't because I feel like I feel like I would like Joe. What? My st- like my stock would depreciate. What? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm joking. I you, know I'm joking. I love, right? I love you. No. What are you, you reaching for? <laughs> Nothing. When, when you're getting ready for your special, Joe, did you you didn't do sets like at the store or the Laugh Factory or the No, Bar. no. You went to weird places, yeah. Yeah, I went to coffee houses. I went to. I, I just wanted to work out stuff. Yeah. And uh, and wait, you're talking about when I did Corbin? When I when I did like my TV set, that's when I I wanted to four do, minute set. Yeah, because I didn't do a TV set in a while, and uh, was hard. Wanted, They're hard. Four minutes is hard. And so clean, I wanted yeah. to, I wanted to put myself in weird spots. Yeah. So I was I was going around like Lancashire. There was like a weed house that was doing stand up. I was going to like like oh, the front, you know, the improv, the uh, the lab. The yeah, lab I was putting yeah. myself in like environments where like I didn't have my audience. You know, where I I, I love those. I love those environments. I just did a. A, a hair salon last night perfect I, literally an alleyway and i went is this the gig and it was i i walk in it's an old hair salon basically a room mm. and in then, santa monica be? And, and, uh, it's in culver city and i walk up on stage and i'm surrounded by there are people sitting on either side of me <laughs> so i'm surrounded by people it was like theater in the round or something getting perm? With this shitty curtain in front of me it was so much fun it was it was what it was it brings me back yeah. to New York. That's those are the kind of gigs I did. Yeah. I did one thousand of those gigs. Yeah. You did wherever you could. Anywhere. And you get up on these in these uh coffee shop, people are talking back there, bars. Dove Davidoff and I did a show one time. He goes, Come, come open for me. I go, All right. It's in downtown LA. It was in it was for some Jewish Oh my God! Why uh, charity? Is it, I'm thing. not trying to be racist right yeah. now, but why is it always the Jewish charity thing? We all have a Jewish charity story i well, really do mine was with uh oh god what's his name um uh, oh man buddy buddy hackett's son oh my sandy god hackett. oh my god you know sandy hackett no but it's i know buddy, buddy hackett's hackett. son yeah. sandy hackett he's a he was a comic in in vegas and my worst gig that i tell everybody is the charity i did for sandy hackett was in this a restaurant it was i think it was a deli yeah and then uh the stage was literally an eight person seat booth yeah and they put plywood on it because you know those eight seat yeah. person booths around yeah. and they put plywood on top of it that was the stage oh yeah and then they put like this karaoke microphone and by the way when i say karaoke this is like 92 93 yeah. or whatever so we're talking to take cassette i'll do you one karaoke better. machine how you many plug, people i don't know 15 20 Jesus. it was a restaurant oh and, yeah it's a and good he, time and he paid me you know how he paid me he, t- he he didn't pay me in cash he goes 
they uh the charity is uh three hundred dollars a plate and you and your girl can eat for free. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's like 600 bucks. What a piece of <laughs> shit. Jesus. No, he's not a piece of... Don't say for, that. For me... Sandy... I so, so, Dove and I, we get there and I go, where are we going to perform? And they had a speaker, like an amp like that, that, that you plug in. I go... Yeah. And there was a mic. I said, well, but the problem is that there's no stage. So, I'm, I'm level with these people. No, so they and they're all here. You. So, so th this is... So, I go, what are we going to do? And it was low ceilings. And it, by the way, it was up in a room and the bar was downstairs. So you could hear everybody downstairs. So I said, they're not going to hear us and this is not possible. <laughs> so I see a couch that is um, for dogs. It's a little <laughs> mini, I'm not kidding, a mini leather real? couch. Are a mini serious? leather couch for dogs. And don't ask me what I was doing in this upstairs shit room. So I go, let me see if this works. And I pull this little couch. I go up and pick up the couch and I walk it over. And I stand on it and I go, I guess this will have to do. So I take the mic and I open for Dove and uh, I do 15, 20 minutes. They all are lying down, sitting down. There are no chairs what? and standing. And we do stand up. To their credit, they listened. They fucking listened. Did they laugh? And they laughed. And then Dove got up and did 45 minutes on that fucking ridiculous couch on a dog couch holding and crushed. It, and it. you couldn't. So the ceiling was about six inches above my head. Did you guys get paid? Did not get paid. I did it as a favor to Dove. He got money. I was going to say, did he get paid? I, I don't know. I can't, I'm can't. i sure. Where was that? Remember that Fish and Giggles place? Remember Fish and Giggles, oh, Fish well, and Giggles. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that was like last month. Yeah, but where was that's that? That's Captain Brian's. That's in a fish restaurant. <laughs> oh, Captain Brian's in uh, Florida. Yes. That, you've done it. You've done it. <laughs> and the, is, the, <laughs> yeah. is yeah. the dressing room still the toilet? Sure is. <laughs> It's, 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 there is a green Can I room. explain to everybody uh, Bring where Brian up. was performing? Captain By the way, all I like Brian. It's a, it's a like fish Brian. and chips restaurant. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fish restaurant. It's a fish and <laughs> chips restaurant, so you can smell malt vi vinegar. Yeah. And uh, the green room is a toilet. It's it literally is you Captain sit Brian, on... Captain Brian. Uh, Brian. You sit on the toilet, yeah. and there's a sink in front of you, and then someone uh, opens the the bathroom and goes you're on in five yeah. wow it, am i right it, and people it, it, and people are it, it, eating it, it, while you're performing yeah that's they're not sitting the in wooden booths yeah. and some of the audience members that's it. like like wooden like, booths like check this out yeah. some people are sitting this way and they can fa see you right because yeah. they're yeah. facing but then the other people with their backs have to look at you like this yeah, it's called off the hook comedy. Off the hook off comedy. Off the hook comedy. Yeah. That's the name of the club. Yeah. Or yeah. The so it used to be in on uh, what's that island? Uh, Wait, that looks different now though. Off the hook. So they changed it. Is Real there thing. still a big shark on off stage? The, off the hook comedy club. They're, that that was the old club. Is this it? And oh, now well, they, then this is dip. Now well, they have a that new looks club. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, it does. There's a column. Yeah. No, no, um, it's nice. It's nice. It's different now. It's a. It is a, still a fish restaurant. And, and people are eating while you. Wait a minute. Up. Hold on. Yeah, they are. Brian, they, they changed it. They changed That's it. Not they, the moved, same they moved. One. They moved locations. They updated, bro. Yeah. When was last time you were there? They moved when locations. it was a fucking bathroom. Yeah. But when was that? Ninety. Uh, no, okay. was, here we go again. It was in the two thousands. Here we go. Yeah, we, here we we've go. already established no, two thousands. You're saying, but you keep. You've been there currently. You went there a long time ago. You yeah, but it was early two thousand. Oh, that's a nice stage. Yeah, they changed it. Yeah, still a restaurant. Yeah, that's. I can't. I don't perform in restaurants anymore well no you you just did that no no, no yeah, i didn't you, just was, do that no you that just was, did that uh, that's Floyd? how i know about it Joe Floyd, no, i remember seeing you on instagram you three, years promo. three years ago that was three I, years ago i, I, I know, that was last I week i saw you doing a promo on instagram <laughs> hey get fish and chips and see me live or do you something like jokes? that if you, you guys like, like fish, fish come see all you can eat fish and chips and comedy thursdays with brian callen buy the one kid. get one free tickets yeah. no <laughs> buy one get one free come see the kid i don't like i don't like any of this i don't like where this is hook going. line and sinker hook line and sinker comedy come see the kid live nothing more depressing buy one ticket get seven free just come nothing please more all you can eat tartar sauce like and he went like that all you can eat tartar, tartar sauce <laughs> Tartar. Put it in my tartar face. Sauce. Hey, <laughs> come, come see the other half of Fighter and the Kid. The Kid. The one that's what? not as attractive. Why are you. What? <laughs> Hold on. Wait. Where's my camera? <laughs> Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Hold on. You got me on this, right? Hold You'll on. fight. I got you. You'll fight, right? Bro, no. He has yeah. shingles. Look so at me don't right let him now. touch you. I have shingles. Stop. Don't let him touch you, bro. Why yesterday. did you let me touch your knee? I'll rub my Why would you let me touch your knee? I'll rub my pustules on you. I'll beat you up and then I'll give you shingles. So, Please don't touch him, B. It's don't all we touch ask, me. Dude. 
You can I'm, beat me up, just don't touch I'm me. I'm a good looking guy. I didn't even think about Hold it. On. You ever see Brad Pitt, like, uh, what was that movie where he becomes old? Dude. Like Benjamin, he went, Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button. Remember when he was good looking and then he got old and you're like, ooh. Yeah. Like, I can see, like, <laughs> like you were, you probably cute when you were a kid and this now is, it's like, ooh, like, cute as a kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how you describe me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> has, anyone, has your wife ever done that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Like in her head, she's like, "This is my last one." Hey, how would you how would you describe Brian's looks? Handsome, ha tough, oh, handsome. Fuck. Uh, oh, Brian! I thought you yeah. said Brian. no, Brian. Cowan. Oh, yours, yours. Yeah. Oh, here. Hey, how would, hey, Joe, how would you describe Brian? Oh. Cowan's looks? <laughs> <laughs> rough life. Rough life. Had a rough go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. show, shows in the face. <laughs> He wears his uh, he wears he wears his problems right around his eyes. Rogan Rogan and I were talking, and he goes, "We we had a good run." I go, "Yeah." He goes, I, "I was like, what do you mean?" He goes, "Just you know, now you know, girls. If you were to date a younger girl, the girl would be like, she'd tell her friends, and her friends would go, gross. <laughs> you at that age? <laughs> it's true. No, you're still good looking. Whatever. I, you think so? You're still like yeah. Cute. You're still handsome. The shingles where's, where's ain't where's helping. My, where's my camera? The shingles do, do the sleepy helping. eye, like the sun's in your eye. Do it. Damn. This is my natural. Oh, that's your, yeah, just wake up in the morning. What do you look like waking up in the morning? Oh, in the morning? Yeah, do it. Wow. Oh, yeah. wow. wow. You, oh, here, here's a picture right here. You see the bottom right Ages with the red bitch. eyes? Ages oh, the red eyes. fucking. No, the red eyes. Ages. That one right there. That's more like you. Oh, my God. Oh, That's wow. like, oh, I got a uh, off the hook comedy. <laughs> Ages is <laughs> a bitch. Off the hook comedy. <laughs> Come see it? me live. Three fish and chips. That's me. Oh man, that's that's man? a real. Oh right. Oh, oh. Dan looks a real baby. I'm boy. looking for pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Come see the kid. I'm looking for pussy. I'm looking for pussy. <laughs> that kid. That I can't even talk. Baby is yeah, you can't even what do I sound like when I drop a when I when I come dust? When you come dust. <laughs> 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 I think I shit a little. <laughs> That's awful. I need a towel. Where's my hat? I don't know why you're always looking for your hat. Where's my hat? I actually never saw that movie. That's you so never depressing. saw that? Wow. Never That's saw so Benjamin depressing, Button. dude. Oh. Um, no, you're still I didn't see it either. What was what was the uh, yeah? What was the movie Jack with Robin Williams where he ages super fast? That's right. Is that opposite of Benjamin Button. Benjamin Buttons, he was uh, he was born a hundred year old baby. Well, you know what? Went backwards, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but then Jack, Jack just got old, right? You, you know, you, but no, old? but no, his body got old, but he had the insides of a toddler. You know what progeria is, right? Progeria. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what progeria is? I don't say it again. So though. it's 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 an aging disease. So children age. So a, a six year old can be an eighty year old. You know about that? Their Physically, internal, their internal. That's clock. Jack, bro. It's so sad. This movie, Jack. Little kids. Wait, uh, Jack again? Little kids. Uh, it's a sad age. movie, they, dude. They, they oh, I, I love that movie. That was a great movie. Yes, sad I didn't movie see it. though, huh? Very sad movie though. I didn't see it. He's, he's that. That was based on uh, Brian's life. <laughs> what? Huh? Excuse me? The original. It was supposed to be Robin Williams stars in Brian. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Old face Brian. <laughs> no, nope. Like you were. <laughs> No, don't say that, dude. Listen. When you were in high school, did kids run up to you and go, what time's class start? Because I was time a teacher. Science? I have a young kid. Because you, you have a teacher face. Listen, up, up, up until recently, and up until my eyes got started falling. Yeah. Oh, I Brian, wants to, what do you think? Brian wants to get uh, black surgery on his face. No, no, just my eyes. My eyes are a little you too droopy. Eyes? You don't want to do that. You're going to look Asian. No, I'm not. That's what I Pull say. your eyes back? <laughs> no, they'll just. You're going to look like your sound guy. No, no, they're just going to take a little of the skin off. Look, look wait, all ready? Dude, pull it up. Are ready? Watch pull this. Up. Be honest. Okay, so, say something now. Okay. No, hello. Hello, Joe. Okay. How are you? Okay, now, now, pull, your now pull your eyes up. Okay, now ready? Yeah, do it, B. Yeah. Do it right, though. Hello. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> oh, wow. Accent. That's now get rid of it. Hello, how are you? <laughs> oh, pull it up I now. See. Hello, how are you? <laughs> what? Welcome. Welcome. You gotta go to the right doctor. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. 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 Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Look at where he is. Can I ask you a question? I thought and, we were, I'm not trying to be mean in any way. I thought yeah. we were No, I know. when I was this is gonna when be I shitty. started fighting my baldness, I just I just shaved it. Good for yeah. you, dude. He's I didn't buy he's fighting the good fight. 
Yeah, I by did, good fun, I, I mean Propecia. The, no, you do not. And I got a hair transplant. No, you did not. But, but not, but like nine years ago. But it didn't take. Let me see where he's hanging on to a dude. I mean, they, they they did like, but it didn't work for me really. So unfortunately, I think you touch it too much. I don't touch it too much. <laughs> I just have you know shitty hair. I don't want to do this. About I'm bashing get, somebody that I, I, you know, what I mean, I really love you, man. Yeah, but you also too. hate and him. He's always been. I do hate him. I know, but it's like, a weird relationship, right? Can I tell you why? I love I hate him too. Him? Also I, hate him. Can, do you? You know why I hate him? Because he always he always makes promises and he breaks them. He can't oh. keep. What the is that, fuck is, is that, that mean? General consensus. What does that mean? I mean everyone, you, the whole room went. Yeah. What do you mean promise? What am I? You make promises. And when you've did been I, doing this since the Laugh Factory day. When did this I promise you anything? This, this, this is an intervention. Give me one example, you son of a bitch. You're spreading a bad rumor no, about me. No, no. You always done that. Like what did I that's say? That's within the community of comics. What? Yeah. It's well known. It's this well is a known. Well known. vicious rumor. Promising gigs for other people. I never. I'll give you a spot. Uh, what time's your show? I'll come through. I've never. Uh, what time do you need me to pick you up? Just anything. That Pick has you to up. do with responsibility. I'm not an Uber driver, you son a of a promise. bitch. You you break you you're a <laughs> Give me a promise. If you had a podcast, it would be called Brian Callen's How to Burn Bridges. Or something like Burn Bridges, the Burn Bridges Pod. What if I burn in the bridges what with the kid? I, yeah. I, oh! That's it. Burning bridges with the kid. What did I promise you that I didn't come through on? Everything. What do you mean everything? Everything. I never made when, you a when promise. When I was coming up, I yeah. used to ask you like, hey, can I get some stage time on one of your shows? Or And you're like, oh my God, I would love for you. And then you would never pick up my calls. or even, That's a lie. You're, ma you're making and I, and lies like, Everything up. that you do, I do opposite. You're spreading vicious and rumors. Why, and that's why what? I'm successful. <laughs> And that's oh why. And that God. should be your infomercial. Hi, you want to be successful? Hi, I'm Brian Callen. Do you want to be successful? Well, then take my class. Whatever I do, don't do it. <laughs> do everything opposite of what I do and watch your money grow, grow, grow. <laughs> grow don't grow, do grow. class. Huh? But this is the don't, don't do. Don't do what I do. Remember, I was in a successful pod called The Fighter and the Kid, and then I left. Now look at me. Old and bald. No, I'm not bald, you fuck. Old and bald. No, new eyes. B, you really think you'll do that? What's that? The eye thing? No. No, I mean, when push comes to shove? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I guarantee I guarantee he does it. Well, I'm thinking about it. You're a handsome. You're a handsome old man. Though. Yeah, I know. You are, but the you're eyes could help. I, I actually support the eye thing because yeah. if it goes wrong, it's me. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. I'm worried about that. Also, you can't fuck with your eyes, but I do. Don't, I don't like that skin around my eyes. You're talking about the nuts. I have it from my yeah. mom. Hang off your eyes. I have that same skin. You're right. I have the same. skin. You do. You well, had, all my nuts. Like, oh like yeah, you're saying, yeah, yeah. I have the same skin. Me you too. Had, you had some work done. If I were to shave my nuts, yeah. It would look like your eyes. His eyes. That's what I said. <laughs> that is. Where's my camera? No, that's <laughs> We should do an episode where you and I shave our nuts no. and then you hang them off eyes his eyes. In. No, no, and we put his eyeballs in it, and then we ask your fans which real ones or not are his eyes. Real or not? Yeah. Look, look, look. There you is go. Is this the surgeon? That's gonna be. Doesn't me. look that. Different. Joe, but tell me with with Asians, tell. you yeah. guys age like fine wine. But oh, then overnight, age. yeah, Cinderella. Yeah, you turn into the tales from the crypt. Yeah, wow. people get old quick, bro. My mom got old when she was uh, 70. <laughs> Overnight, though, and then, right? then I looked at my mom. I go, you're old. You're like, wow. Well, when she was 68, I was like, you want to go to prom? Like, she was <laughs> yeah, still yeah. cute. It's like, Asians and black people. It's the only, black the only people ethnicity. You have no age. idea. Yeah. And, but then yeah. you show up to their house one day and just boom, father yeah. time. And then they become old. Yeah. Black yeah. people become old. Father like, that's time. That's crazy. Like, physically, they become old, but they also, like, mentally, they're like, they, you know, no, you know, my kids is acting crazy. These kids, like, what hey, the fuck hey, happened to you? Hey, Weren't you a rapper? Also, in the nineties. Also, though, I don't know, man. What? <laughs> I don't know about all of that. My sister is married to uh, a black man, and you do a podcast with a black. I do guy. a podcast with him, and he has uh, been young his whole life. Mm. He looks the same from high school, but now he's an old black man. How old is he? He's 51. How old are you? I'm 27. I don't think that's true, Joe. I don't think that's true. Look at that. There he is on the left. Face. Okay, but I don't feel like that's true, Joe. How Put old my you? face up against yours, and everyone will be like, who's... I didn't know Brian had a son. No. See, Joe, I think... <laughs> I didn't know Brian Asians, had a son. Though, like, how old do you think Kat is? Our intern. How old... Like, Kat looks... I mean, oh, my God. 14? 16. <laughs> right? Like, she just got her license. She's 12 years old. 
She's 11. She's 11? She makes, she makes iPhones in her off time. Yeah. Get the f- yeah. We stole her from Apple. That's, right. That's crazy. Yeah. They helped me escape. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy so though, right? Bad. This yeah. is bad. She was being held hostage. Yeah, man. You have a large Filipino audience and Asian in general. Okay, that made no sense. Uh, <laughs> you have a large Filipino audience <laughs> and in Asia. Asian. Where the what and the Asian, fuck are you Asian talking general, about? Asian audience in general. Asian audience. Why does it have to be specific? No, it's everyone. Why can't it just be world? It's everyone. No, your audience is why is it international, bro? Why does it have to be Asian? Your, 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 your audience is all. You Asian. have a huge retirement following. No, I do not. <laughs> like you can hit no, every retirement home no, and it'd be sold the that's fuck not out. Fair, it would be soft foods at eleven. That's another Brian Callen afternoon. So funny. funny. That's funny another guy. fucking After rumor. Funny. Stop spreading rumors. You're not 26. I bet you crush in Florida. Like all the retirement <laughs> no. homes in Florida. No, Latin, Latin people. No, Latinos. none of them come see you. Yes, they none do. Of them yes, they see fucking you. do. You know why? Your audience, they your audience is literally you. 100% Asian. I have it on good authority. Bullshit. And literally on good authority. Too. Bullshit. And at the end of the day, your parents you, are fans of mine. Your, your audience is Your parents niche. are fans of mine and they don't even go to your no, show. No, they're not. Yeah. They, they don't even go to your show. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yes, yeah, they do. They love me. You got shingles, B. Can't be in all. And your parents look younger than I'm you. I'm gonna rub a pustule on you. Give us some uh, current events with Joe. Um, you know, here's the cool thing, man. Uh, getting ready to uh, go on tour again after the special drops in June. So Netflix special drops in June. What's it called? Uh, we haven't came up with a decision yet. <clears throat> no, on no. I'm t- poor man's Brian Callen. <laughs> Fucking burn you just so hard just then. <laughs> I love burning people. <clears throat> I love that shit. The um, Asian poor man's Brian Kelly. I'm going to put subtitles so you can read it. What does that mean? Because you can't hear anymore. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> You're an old man. You and I are the same, basically. Age. I'm Brian Callen, and I hope you enjoy my comedy. That's a terrible fucking impression of me, bro. I, w- I I have funny stories. <laughs> it's close, man. <laughs> it's not close, dude. I love pushy. <laughs> hey, so you you said in June, Joe? In they June? still call me the kid. Oops, I just peed myself. <laughs> how, how do I sound when I'm actually having sex before I... <laughs> <laughs> Ask me when I when you come. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> or I, just, I just shit again. <laughs> that is so disgusting. I know. All right. I, I feel Let's bad for you. Let's go to some you. current events right now. All right. I got to go. I got stuff to do. I got I got fucking. So Aaron Carter is back in the news defending Michael Jackson. Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you end that. That's exactly how you end that. That's right. Aaron Carter defending Michael Jackson is like Steve Bremerton defending Michael Jackson. No one knows who the fuck both he's, of those he's guys Nick are. Nick Carter's brother, right? From mm-hmm. the Backstreet Boys. Who's and the original Justin Bieber? Then why do they have a picture of Nick Carter there? That's his No, no that's they Aaron look Carter. identical. No. He's younger. Also, his hair. He dyes here green, and he also came out as bisexual, right? Yes, yes, he did. Meaning he's also gay. sick, but I'm not sure what he's sick. Yeah, he's messed up in the head. He's, he's yeah, sick. he's got some problems. Yeah, um, but he's a tweaker. Wa- yes. yes, yeah. Yes. Oh. Uh, Wade Robson came out and insinuated on Twitter that Aaron Carter was also molested by Michael Jackson for sure. Yeah, and uh, TMZ reached out to Aaron Carter to see if he had anything he wanted to say. To which he defended Michael Jackson, and now he wants to. Soon? Fight Wade Robson. <laughs> just oh, oh, fight in the ring. Like punch him. In. Yeah, he was oh, just wow. saying, like, I want to fight now. Well, Aaron Carter doesn't have much to do, so I'm sure it gives him attention. Oh, there he goes. He went on TMZ. To Is this him? Him. Mm-hmm. He also claims that the HBO documentary team reached out to him for an interview and wanted to pay him six figures for it. But oh, he declined. Damn. Is this the video? Oh, so, oh, but Pierce Jackson liked his video of him mm-hmm. defending Michael Jackson? Yes. Is this the video here or no? Uh, yeah, we have it right here. On top. The TMZ one. Because he went on, uh, was it Wendy Williams? Mm. He's not doing well. You guys are old, but pay attention. First, your reaction to leaving Neverland. My reaction to leaving Neverland was incredible. Um, I remember uh, having the time of my life with Michael. Uh, I was about 15 years old. And uh, and (coughs) I remember him just sitting down with me, uh, you know, being like, 
you know, this is kind of like what you got to do, Aaron, in, in your future, and you know, just stay focused. And, and you stay didn't focused, listen. Be a perfectionist. No, you did not um, listen. Not you know, once. I also went to the same vocal coach. I'm glad you remembered what he said. Many years. Did he tell you to uh, so neck I, tattoo? You know, yeah. I, I really idolized Michael. He told you to do crack. Robson and that other kid, whatever. He told you to suck <laughs> dick. Someone. This is what uh, you do, life. Aaron. You get okay, crack. You're, you're a grown man, and when Michael Jackson was alive. You are backing him. You are up his ass. Legit you're point. Kissing his ass. It is. Legit you are point. there to testify for him Correct. under oath. Even though he didn't. And then ask. when he dies, you decide that that's a good time to come that, that come out. No, what you're doing is you're actually stomping on an icon and a le- a legend's grave. You're stomping on his grave. You know how you know he's not doing well? Once he's shooting this nice. video in a car with an oh shit bar. Nice cars don't have those oh shit oh, bars. Sh- you see that bar? <laughs> Good bottom? eye. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see that in a BMW. No, Marazi- Maseratis yeah. don't have those. No. You know? No. Oh, God, don't be materialistic. Maybe he just likes... You know who has those? Brian. <laughs> Brian has that. No, I'm in my Tesla. Which well, I'm I'd watch charge. them fight, though. What else we got? All right. So Felicity Oof. Huffman and Lori Laughlin have been indicted and Felicity was arrested yesterday for basically paying a company to bribe their way for her daughters to get into school. And what school was it? Was it SC? USC? Yeah. Yep. Both of their kids yep. went to SC? Yeah. This has been, ha- I hate to tell you guys, this has been happening forever. Everyone Happens at USC sports knows this. Right now. Hold on. Do you think George Bush Got into Ivy League school with his grades? Well, no, he got into Ivy League school because there's a legacy thing, and his dad had so much money. That's so what, that's what he's saying. That's what I'm the, saying. So you give money to the endowment, 100%. And schools have always had... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Have always had, saying. have always given place to certain students who... Who you know can can uh, add you got to the that? End- I'll take it from here. Listen, no, that but can their add dads on. donate that can add the to the endowment. This is very different. This is very different. No, I'm just saying. No, no, no. Yeah. Hold on. it's not different. It's hundred. How different. it's not different is th- there has been alumni when their kids are coming up and they pay the boost or something to get their kids into the school even though they don't qualify. Okay, this so, has been going on forever. Okay, so so but when you take same with sports too. When you take uh, somebody, when you have somebody who takes the tests for you. When you have somebody who, when you say, oh, they want an athlete, and you superimpose your daughter's head onto a fucking, somebody who's rowing, and <laughs> submit that as, that's my athlete daughter. Oh, for sure. This was cheating on such a high no, level. No, B, I'm, I'm yeah. saying it's, uh, it falls under the same umbrella where yeah, there's think- a motivation for the university, oh. and it's it's a motivation of finances to get these kids into school. Sure, the only thing- Whether how you paint it. Yeah, this, wouldn't, this wasn't the university. These were individuals like coaches- and and college admissions people who were in on the getting private you know For sure. funds you know so they were being bribed yeah and what I'm saying is that there it is true well 100 percent that if you go to Harvard and your dad has a lot of money and he went to Harvard you're gonna he get a lot you definitely have a much better chance of getting in there's no question uh, and and so that that the merits of that can be definitely debated but in this case this is <laughs> this See, is I, but this, <laughs> when I saw this I was like I can't no shit in yeah, sports. Yeah. And you yeah. call her, are yeah. you kid, there's kids who had no business being oh, there 100%. but because they're right. good at football right. they somehow got in don't go to the classes and but they pass they them someone, how do they yeah, pass them they yeah. got people going and sitting in there and, how do they pass them how do they exactly. how, how do they pass it's the SATs? generally corrupt is what you're saying NCAA is corrupt oh, all yeah. of it's corrupt yeah, yeah. that's a big scheme right there the, but this is they just got caught yeah. the only this thing, happens in every university well so this guy that was running this uh for-profit college preparation company and he uh, i think from 2011 to 2019 he uh 25 I think, mil uh, 25 mil so in that sense like it was basically i'll get you in we'll get, we'll figure out a way to get your kids grades up f- in a fake way or get them to think that they're athletes. There are all these tricks we can do. To me, it's like you got to know you're going to get caught eventually. Yeah, right. You got to know, right? I'm and, more and upset. Also, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. you, but I'm more upset. Like, like the whole bribery and getting them in. What I'm mad at the most is you put your face as an athlete on a pitcher and became a <laughs> rower. Like, are yeah. you fuck? Like your whole life, you were going to live that lie yeah. and tell your kids like. You know, mom used to row. Like, yeah. you fucking, like, you're going to live that, that your whole strange. life? Like, I don't mind about lying about the school because 
whatever you have to do to get through school. It's all whatever. bullshit but anyways. To lie about it being a rower. That's weird. But but yeah. I get. But and if, here's my picture. You're gonna show your kids that picture. Yeah. Like the sport. The sports is weird. But I will coming from playing Division One football, seeing the kids who got in and had no business being at that school, and they got their degrees. I I think I viewed college as different. Like if someone came up to me, like, came, hey, I have a three year old, and then when he's let's say eighteen, they go, "Hey man, for a hundred grand, Tiger can get to Stanford." Like oh, I'll pay hundred grand, no sure, problem. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. But we but the, the the problem with that also is this: if they go, you don't have the grades, but we can still get in. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Yeah, for well, sure. So, so yeah, everybody cool. would that, but that's why you do have rules against that kind of money, the, the influence of money. So so that not just the elites get into school. The idea behind a university is you earn your place through your grades and through your sports. You know, in That's football, in football at least, these guys were good football players. They had a skill. In this case, we're just talking about people who had the money to cheat in every way and get in. So but at least in football, at least parents, in football, these if guys. If your parents were famous, or if your parents. Well, were, so what I'm saying is that in, at least in football, these alumni. guys, these guys earn the right. Now, no, 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 no. They earn the right to play football. That's what I'm saying. They didn't that's earn the saying. right to get a degree. Either, either way, what I'm saying, 100. percent what, what I'm, and, and that's corrupt. And the NCAA is corrupt for, for sure. Okay, but it doesn't mean that this isn't also kind of outrageous. And I think and it falls on the same good. umbrella. But I wasn't that. I'm like, yeah, no. Here's well, my here's my argument with uh, college. Okay, um, what's more corrupt? What they did, which is really fucking shitty, right? Or the fact that they make these kids mandatory to play basketball before they can go play for the NBA. These kids can no longer leave high school and become professionals. They actually Kobe, got they got rid of the rule. But but this for year. how many years how many years did they hold that for? Oh, 10 for a while, years? For a while. 10 years they made it mandatory. They they pretty much stopped <clears throat> the Garnets and the and the Kobe's and all these kids from leaving high school because they were like, "Well, fuck, we're missing how much money on this? Yeah. We're, we're losing yeah. how many jerseys? How many Garnett jerseys we could have sold in North Carolina? We'll, we'll how many Kobe drives we could have uh, sold it at Duke? Like you but know, take I mean? it take it away from basketball. Yeah, basketball is big. It doesn't but, but it doesn't, doesn't touch more college football. It's way more. Yeah, you're right. Sports That's way more fucked corrupt. up. Well, think about the college bowl games. Like think about how much merch yeah. the the fucking Notre Dame does. Those kids don't see a dime, dime. and they have to be in school for two years. It to have play to. football. You have to be in school for two years. Wow. So no, look, that's that's corrupt. It, the, all, I, I think the there whole are other things. Correct. I think there are so other fun. things to worry about. I mean, I, this isn't the end of the world, but oh it, no, it, these it, rich it kids got in, and you know, like, yeah, like yeah. but but it was it was blatant cheating, and more importantly, w talk about sending a bad message to your kids. Yeah. Like we're gonna we're we're gonna not only do you not have to take the test or compete, you also don't even have to play a sport, but we'll get you in under those two false. Yeah, a lot of the kids don't, but the kids didn't bad. know about it. Yeah. Look, you know, a lot I, of them didn't know. It's also yeah. My son has to go to summer school this year. And I'm so How pissed because he's 15 and it pisses me off because the dean was like, he can't go into the 11th grade unless he goes to summer school and repeat history. And I'm pissed because we always go on vacation together and now he's fucked us. Yeah. So I'm about to make a donation <laughs> and try to <laughs> right get him now. out of this yep. and see if we can do some other way to get out of this. That's, that's fucked up, yeah. right? <laughs> well, but I want to go though? on vacation. No, but what I'm mad fucked. about with this, this lady is you are going to make your daughter's Tell everybody that they were rowers for the you fucking how do you oh, wait, live wait, wait. your like how do you sit at the table with your kid and be like look you're a rower now and now you get to tell your kid well, you're that's a what rower. I mean that's what I mean like with you you want to go on vacation so you're going to try to work something out with the dean so he can make it up in another way yes but he's and still making it up still, and my son will still repeat his right and I will find a way to do that right so so what I'm saying is that you you still you can't but no matter what you can use it you can come up with other examples of cheating. But this is blatant cheating. Yeah, and so it's, it's all blatant cheating. It's, though. it's, it's horrible. It's, you're putting everything on the same level, and I th I don't know that you can. I it's think all this to is, me. It's all cheating. Though. It is cheating. Uh, like what, 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 what about is, the LSU is, coach? Why is there who, good who cheating got, and bad what, cheating? What about the LSU coach who just got fired because they said he brought? They have him on record bribing a player. But he got fired. He right. got fired. Yeah. So it's cheating. Yeah. yeah but but it happens at every school. You know what I'm saying? So they, so they. Pay, so you're just saying so, so this isn't a big deal, or it's not new. It's not a big deal because this happens at from sports to regular uh, kids. It's happening all over, nonstop, twenty four seven. Yeah, this is college life. Mm. So that that kid who, so the kid who they make money off of when they sell jer jersey at LSU, yeah, he's not going to be able to play basketball because the coach gave his family money who he didn't have money. Where yeah. is he? Right? Where is the cheating in that though? Well, how is he cheating? Because the the school the school paid the kid to come to that to that university yeah but he's uh, th that's kind of an isn't that an open-ended thing where in other words this kid is a great athlete 
they there there's a competition for this kid the school with the with the most incentive gets to take that kid so it's an open playing field right i'm talking about this this situation when you're getting your daughter in by literally essentially saying that this is a this you're you're really what you're doing in this case is you're saying she doesn't have any skills but i'm going to actually superimpose photographs and i'm going to put in place an avatar that's not even my kid that's what we're talking well, about only here, some right? of them so, yeah. mo some of them they just they they more time with the test and all yeah that. some of the they, they yeah th that's that's By the, faking that's, that the a handicap that's the exception yeah. the exception was yeah. that whatever you guys are focusing yeah. on that yeah. most of the people if you look at the 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 thing what's going on mm -hmm. here is they just impose grades and tests to get them through yeah yeah mm. so this is basically what you're saying is that this has been going on forever and these guys just got caught because they got a little carried away and too much of it. Yeah. And too, and fucking frankly, too bold. How, how did they and, and get obvious. caught? Do we know? Well, it was an FBI sting. The FBI was like watching this. I, I wonder how the FBI got sad. People to tip them off. You know, people are like, the fuck, you know, the FBI's got different divisions that watch this. But stuff. I wonder what well, cunt fucking started telling her friend so, so, I got in because my mom. So yeah. when, no, so when you do this from 2011 to 2018 and it's this big. Uh, a business for you but they had a, they had a charity get, right they masked it with a charity yeah eventually some non when you have people who are taking tests and you're paying them you got ringers eventually somebody's gonna feel oh yeah so you just can't you can't get away with something for eight years that's a good yeah. run eight years that's and 25 a, million dollars pretty good run we yeah. have to pay all that back oh, and sure, you know what oh, they're, sure. they're talking about pulling all the diplomas who, who went through oh man hey man when the piper the piper will be paid we oh. know this right the piper's how, always how paid how gay is that though so let's say let's say you <laughs> you have a, a fucking 28 year old son who got a diploma from Stanford oh. he, now he let's say he works for Facebook yeah. he's one of the co people at Facebook he's oh. making millions and they go dude we gotta pull your diploma we gotta pull your diploma does it oh. matter it's like I don't all think, right I don't think oh, I'd like to see that they'd probably be challenged in but how embarrassing because he was talking so much shit to his kids like I went through college you got to do it look what your dad did after college and then his kids are gonna be like hey dad you need all bribes were go. channeled through a fake charity Ugh. God. kids who they wanted were, they better were, they were, they were, friend to have they a were, learning uh, disability they were recruited in the, onto the crew team even though they never done crew <laughs> oh my god uh, by the way and those kids again, are again you're helping your daughter obvious. cheat when you're helping your daughter yeah, cheat on an entrance in, exam yeah, football like team. i wouldn't do that 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 that's fucked up if you're helping your daughter your child cheat on an entrance exam yeah i got a problem with that yeah i mean i i, I well I, I don't know what the penalty should be, but you're going to get caught. And but you wait know, a minute, what about, all the, what about all the athletes, man? They ain't getting in through with entries. But, but at least tests. they're playing a sport. I mean, I don't know. But they're still so going, they're taking okay? a spot from the other kids. Right, no, it's, not, it's not okay at all. Because they can play I've, I've said from day one, my problem with, with, the end, with pro, uh, college sports is that these kids, a lot of them just leave with bad knees, maybe some CT and no education. I got a problem with that. Yeah. 100% I got a problem with that. And and th there's been plenty of, there's been books written about this and plenty of people know a lot more about this than I do. But the NCAA is a corrupt, is corrupt. Yeah. Uh, 100%. Uh, but again, this is, I'm, I'm talking about a different subject here in a right. way. I mean, this is just a big I think it all scandal. falls into the same, man. Uh, I think this is different. I I, I, really I don't do. see a difference. I don't. Why? Why they're are you all taking it's spots? Though it's cheating is cheating. Though. Yeah, they're all taking spots from kids who could have got in legitimately. Brian, I'm not getting on just you, because but, the but basketball player can play basketball. So those kids, so you're seeing they're still okay taking a spot. Those, they those kids basketball? are being recruited to play their sport. Okay, Yo, but, know, but B, still they're gotta... still taking a position in the classroom. Yeah, from someone who's qualified who didn't get in. Exactly. I think though. Same thing. These I, kids I are think doing. that every college that's a huge that makes that much money on their sports program. We all know that that's ba they're basically professional athletes not getting paid, right? Mm. So, so at least make it okay. at least we know that, and at least they know that, and everybody knows that. But that doesn't make it okay. I'm not saying I'm not saying it makes it okay. No, I'm just you saying did say I'm it was saying okay. well, no. Said, I'm not. You said I'm saying this is I'm making a distinction, and what I'm saying is I think this uh -huh. is such blatant cheating, and so like so like you're getting people to take your exams for you you're 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 getting them to be recruited on the crew team you're paying off the crew coach and saying recruit them even though they've never done a day of crew this i do think that's a difference i do think how do i that define part, the difference the second yeah, part yeah. yeah it's just a look either way uh, i have cheating, a problem man. with both but you know uh you like college hoops it's you so like march madness 
yeah. Co- college <laughs> to to get into yeah. col- college admission is so competitive. This is what happens. Why do you this think there's so happens. much cheating in the Olympics? Yeah, because it's so fucking com- ultra competitive. Yeah, people are gonna find loopholes. Yeah, it's human nature. Yeah, the NFL, UFC, professional sports. It's it's so fucking ultra competitive. Yeah. People yep. are gonna cheat, man. Yep. Here's my thing, real quick, and I'm just gonna make a statement, real quick. All right, parents, if your kids can't go to college, maybe they just shouldn't go to college. Mm. If they're not good in high school, not yeah. school's not for everybody. No. Like I know my son, I got a I got a bunch of money saved for my son in college, but right now it doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't look good. I think he's gonna buy a really nice car with that shit. And if he's creative, I'm gonna support it because yeah. I was creative. Yep. Yeah. School is not for everybody. Did you go to school? No. Yeah. I knew I wanted to be a comic when I was like 11 years old. It's yeah. like, bro, I knew that's what I. And I know that my son is creative. He's yep. gonna find something. I'm not gonna force him to go to college just because you got a degree doesn't mean you're going to be successful I agree a lot of you. these people come out of college with degrees and they don't even fucking use it 100%. especially here in hollywood yeah. there's a shit ton of people yep. like you know what your journey is you know what your fucking road is whatever it is that you want to do creatively yep. you'll figure it out college does not tell you to do that no it doesn't yep. Yep. so stop if your kids are fucking stupid in high school they're stupid in college. Correct. Yeah. So don't do this dumb shit. Preach. What's going to happen when she gets Although, that degree? She's going to be stupid with a degree. You just ruined your daughter's life. Yeah. So I'm glad you're going to jail. You're a fucking idiot. Do they deserve parent. to go to prison though? Huh? Should the parents go to prison? I don't know. I'm not in the like, should they, I don't know if they should go to prison. But I'm just saying, would you? should they go hey, to prison? No, they shouldn't go to prison. Or should they pay huge fines to do community service? I mean, yeah. Not, yes. Let's put the real I, I, criminals let's do in that. prison. I'm not, yes. I'm not a guy who advocates for a lot of prison time. Like, okay. should the full house hot girl be in prison? No. But prison she should is be for in a people. full house. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's have, have, oh, let me get it. No. Nope. Oh, fuck, I missed. Fuck, I missed it. What else you got, Jen? Damn it. Give us two more. So Johnny Depp is suing Amber Heard for uh, defamation, and he's trying to take her for fifty million dollars right now. God damn, Johnny! I don't like he, Amber Heard. There, I said it. Yeah, I, I don't even know who that I've is. Heard I'm that sorry. I think she sucks. Yeah. I, think well, I don't know who she is. And there's she? proof of it now. Really? Yes. He Johnny what? teams team Johnny Depp's team actually went back yes. and took surveillance videos from their home from <gasps> the time that they were living together and found. 87 videos of her abusing him. Yes! And her throwing a vodka, vodka bottle at him so badly that one of his fingers almost came off. She looks spicy. She's a scumbag, man. And I don't know who she is. Amber Heard's an actress. <laughs> She's an actress. She, I knew it. I fucking is she in a lot it. of stuff? Really? I've heard too many things. She I've heard bad things about her. some stuff heard- and then her career definitely took off again after With Johnny? the- yeah, after the Johnny Depp domestic She's abuse She's a social- But didn't she make like a jagillion dollars off the divorce? She made, she made so much money. a really? good, good amount of change, and she donated it to women's organizations. She donated all of it. Yes, so to my what kind of women's organization? Like domestic it. abuse organization. Really? Wow. And now this is coming out mm-hmm. that she was the abuser. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. She's There's a, maybe, a lot of She's a calculated okay. asshole. Man. Brian, can I? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. But usually, when people do shit like that, when they donate to a fund like that, it's to mask. It's like magician Correct. shit. It's like here's a smoke screen. Yep. Like I religi- got abused. It's kind of so, like religious people. Well, not yep. only that, I got another one. Uh, God, who was it with? Uh, uh, with uh, oh God, God, Penn State. Remember that coach? Sandusky? Or okay, Joe remember, okay, he knew Paterno. about all that shit yeah. was happening, right? When I went, when, before this, uh, before it came out, uh, if you went to Nike, if you went to the mm-hmm. Nike thing in, in uh, Portland or whatever, mm-hmm. Oregon, Oregon, yeah, they had uh, a Sand- Sandusky building, and guess what it was for? No. Each, each building had a theme, right? So the Tiger Woods had the, I don't know, so, some theme, you know what I mean? Like mixed kids, I'm making this up, all right? Mixed Kids Foundation. Chinese you know kids. What I mean? Or whatever. Yeah. He's not Chinese, very racist. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, so Mixed Kids <laughs> Foundation. Uh, Bo Jackson had, you know, the uh, the Black Kids Foundation. Yeah, I'm just making this racist, up. Racist. Yeah, okay, yeah. no, that's that not racist because he is yeah. black and he was a kid okay. and he's helping other okay. kids. Okay, I, I was trying uh, to give it Tiger back, Woods yeah. was Taiwanese, I believe, and you just said Chinese. Okay. Very racist. Okay. <laughs> well, he's Korean. Uh, so, uh, but ah. then, but then you go to Sandusky's building, and guess what it said? Children's Foundation. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, that's and how he, he did built it, that. Right? No, no, no. But it. check this out, Brett. This is before anything came out on the news. So he built that. 
10 years before yep. anything fucking right. happened, yep. which means that's the smoke screen. She's the same that's, way. He, and of that's course she the gave the money. Thing. Best calculator move in the world. Give the money. Can you I sound say like something? Amazing yeah. Can yeah. I say something? Yeah. I would let her throw me around a little bit. <laughs> oh, All right. Uh, she's a, she's All very right. sexy. See, She's a strategic. That's game. not. That's not a good thing, man. What uh, you're doing is, yeah. All that, man, it's not all about that, your dick. It's about yeah, fucking man. Johnny. Can you think about Johnny for a second? Um, he almost no, lost I, his finger. All right, I feel for him. I would dress up as a pirate and let her. Oh kick, my kick me around god! A bit. I'd let her kick me around. You would. I would put some mascara on like Johnny does. A fucking seven scarves, ten necklaces, huh? and let her kick me. Or a Beetlejuice outfit. She just looks. She looks like such a fucking evil asshole to me. Oh, be, uh, did I say Beetlejuice? Yeah, Edward, Edward Scissorhands. I corrected you. Thank you. Yeah. Man, is, and I corrected you about she is fucking oh, the race. Tiger Woods being <laughs> Chinese. Feel, see, I feel like that's up for debate. No, 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 no. It's not. Oh, really? He's not Chinese. But his his dad's black, mom's Chinese. Not Chinese, which makes mom you Mom is what? Which makes you racist. Look up. Look this up, Jim. Wait, What's hold on. Mom? You want to put money on this? You want to bet Rollies? What what Rollies? Mine's that? mine's twenty thousand dollars more than yours. But do you want to? I don't think that? so. Is that Daytona? <laughs> it no don't worry about it. All right. It's a sky dweller. Look, um wait, that looks like it's expensive. You don't know what expensive looks like. Stop. What the hey, fuck, hey, dude. Go get some water while we talk watches. <laughs> what? Go, you ready? Hold on. Are we gonna make the bed? Go ahead. Go no, I don't think he's Chinese. Want, okay, but so I, do you want to make said Taiwanese. I'm just saying he's not Chinese. No, you gotta pick one. Wait, who's not pick <laughs> one? What is that? You gotta pick. What is ethnicity. that? You gotta Taiwanese? pick one, like one of these two. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Hold on, you China. idiots! You idiots! I will go with Taiwanese. Tiger Woods is. I'm saying no, Korean. He's neither. He's neither. Wait, I what, is Tiger Woods? what is he? What is he? You fucking see dummies! He's Thai. <laughs> I think he's on the screen. Oh, is he Thai? I didn't see anything. He's well, Thai. that's his mom. Thai. He's Thai. His mom's yeah. Thai, so mother's yeah. Thai. Well, then I'm closer. You're racist. I'm closer. <laughs> You're I racist, Thai. Joe. The word Thai is in there. Yeah. I knew the yep. word Thai was in what he <laughs> yes. was. But you know what's not in that word? Chinese. <laughs> oh, no, there it is. But mom sometimes can be confused as Chinese because her- Where the fuck do you see that? See that, 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 see that You liar. You know that's that's no. nowhere in the no, Google Give me your watch. Give me your watch. I'm looking at the same screen. Give me your watch. His mom's Chinese. Fuck you. Yep. His mom's Chinese. Can I wear that watch? Unbelievable. they call him Tiger. Yeah, you could touch it. With my shingles? Shingles, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, what else we got? That was funny. Come on. I can't believe you said that. Very uh, racist. So the Catholic Diocese of New York wants Pete Davidson to apologize for his R. Kelly Catholic uh, priest touching kids joke. Oh, fuck well, off. When, when the Catholic Church comes completely clean and holds all, all those people accountable... All those fucking priests that they protected forever. Yeah, that they, uh, they for, move for them pedophilia. to different churches. Yeah, then 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 maybe. Oh yeah, apologize. oh yeah. yeah. Apologize they want the that. comic Pete Davidson to apologize. Get the yeah. fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah. What? Stop molesting kids. Yeah. I need a little more respect. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's uh, let's fire some people once. How's that? Have they ever fired anybody? Yeah, didn't they? Well, have they ever fired somebody? Recently, recently, they just like go of one of them. Recently, one guy was held uh, was actually had to face charges. Yep. But if you look at you watch the movie Spotlight, or if you look at the history of the thousands, oh, the oh my thousands, god, the tens of thousands, there's of so priests. many. Preach, B. And and this new this new book that came out with this guy who embedded himself, a gay journalist who embedded himself in, from in, for, uh, Italian journalist, and said this is a this is essentially Lost gay men and, state, and, yeah. and 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 the rest are are pedophiles and the gay men are terrified the pedophiles are going to expose them and the pedophiles are and it's just a, it's a vicious crazy. cycle the Vatican yeah. is a is a, a vicious bad, cycle yeah so you got to come clean i think the catholicism and christianity has a fuckload to offer i have a lot of respect for it but at the same time this church like most institutions can get yeah. corrupt it is corrupt and you had a lot of pedophiles hiding behind the cloth so until they come clean on that yeah, and you know what you guys should have done? Not made any headlines with this topic. No shit. They should have been no. the first ones to just, just be shut like, the fuck up. we're cool. Yeah. yeah. Look yeah. for some good press. Yeah, you just opened up a bag of worms. Uh, abusing allegations, over 2,600 priests and church workers across the U.S. have been revealed by 96 dioceses. And that's just that In the we past know. six months. Wow. I mean, come on. Well, can we not end on this one? Can you yeah. give us one more? This one's yeah, super that, that, negative. That was, that was depressing. That's super negative. All right, you made this post. Odell Beckham Jr. going to Cle Cleveland Browns. They're not Are you a football fan? I mean, I <laughs> am. I, I'm a football fan. They, uh, I'm from Seattle. So I'm a what Seahawk. else you got? Yeah, Odell B Beckham Jr. is going to uh, the Browns. They have Jarvis Landry, and they have him now, and they have Hunt as the running back, and they have one of the best quarterbacks in the league. They're balling. And they're in Cleveland. They're in so Cleveland. that's, I don't know. What, what do you think? I think they're going to be good. You're, I think they're, yeah, def they're, they're definitely going to the playoffs. Cleveland is plagued uh, back in the day bro they went seven and nine last year yeah 
They're going to be good. Okay. Baker Mayfield, they're going to be fucking good. Odell, Odell Beckham. Then you got Hunt as a running back. They got Chubbs. They, they're stacked, man. They got, yeah, they're stacked. You Let's guys, do you one guys more. Don't shit. Give, me, give me one more. You know, Brian you don't want any bad ones, right? Like not violent ones and stuff. Well, if like it's that. fun, violent. You know, there's the difference. <laughs> I don't know if it's chin. fun. I will say this out of all the pods I've done, the racist and the kid is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Hands down. <laughs> the racist and the kid. Number one. I know, dude. Number and one. You were show. great. We love you. Thank you. Uh, U.S. women's soccer team sues for equal pay. They're the popular ones, actually. We're better than the men. They, now, hold up. They are better than the men as far as playing other women. Mm. And they're more popular. Yeah. And they're more successful. Is it, isn't this a debate that we always have with all soccer. female sports, though? If the, if the, if the marketplace you know says you're worth it, then the marketplace says you're worth it. But I believe in the marketplace. Why, you're not getting more money because you're women or any fuck off. And Have you earned it? Okay. If you Alex have, Morgan's earned it. Yeah. If you're if you're worth more, then you get more money. That's yeah. all. Let the, let the marketplace. If you are a draw, then yes, I demand that. Let the but, marketplace but make the difference. Don't. Yeah, I just I don't. Did you hear this? Did you hear this gay this gay uh, or trans uh, gay comic who said? Uh, oh wow! This gay comic was like he's a comic and he's not good, but he was on <laughs> TV and he was saying um uh, he's from New York or something. He goes look ten percent or fifteen percent of or twenty percent. He said something like that of the population is LGBTQ, which is not true. And he goes so if you have a 6%. show, if you have a show, you better have if you have a comedy show, twenty percent of your performers better be. Gay, straight, trans, and I was like, "You <laughs> fucking." This is what he said. I was like, mm -hmm. "Be funny first, you fucking moron." Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That what makes kind no of sense. argument is that? People are people. I don't go by race Individuals. or sexual. How about, how about merit? Or, or how about what merit? You, are you funny? That's what I care. Yeah, the, these girls are B, so I'll give them that. They're so much better than the men, but no one really pays attention to women's soccer, even though they're killing it. But you but said it earlier. You said they are good amongst other women. Can they beat the men's team? Oh God, no. They're way funner to watch, though. Surprisingly. Of course. They're but, amazing. But, but also, the men suck. Our men's team yeah. sucks. Uh, it's also soccer, so we don't yeah. care in America. But uh, <laughs> have, have you heard the thing with um, with uh, that? that What's that? The female movie, the comic uh, movie, supposed to be killing it? The one that's not really funny, but... No, no, not the funny. Fuck? The fucking Marvel movie. Oh, Captain, Captain Marvel? Marvel? Was it? Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Have you heard the conspiracy theory on this? No. So, right, it's the first female lead in a, in a superhero oh. movie, and it's the biggest open ever for female lead. I've, uh, there's been some conspiracy around where that's not true. Really? Have you seen the pictures of the theaters? No. It's not that crowded. Really? But they're like, biggest ever, women's rights, Me Too movement, check out the movie, and it's not the case. Wow. But they're, they're leaking it like it is. That's, that's huh. what's going on in the underground there. They think I it's a whole that. scheme. I man. don't even know what movie we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Captain Marvel. This one? Yeah. That's out? <laughs> exactly. I'm not even trying to be funny. Yeah, That's the point. That. That's but the yeah, point. yeah, I guess it is out. Huh. Um, and it's, it's, they say how it's this huge success, but... Is that Amy Heard? <laughs> no, that's uh, Brie Larson. <gasps> don't buy it. Don't buy it. I, I, I've never seen anything. I haven't even seen a trailer for this. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. I'm still watching Iron Man 2. Quality movie though. All right. Quality movie. We'll end on that. Joe Coy, sure. you're a good man. I don't want to end on that. I you don't want to end on that? You just I don't want to end. I gotta get out of here. I have to go do press for my special complicated. You're gonna apes. do Mark Marin? Yeah. I love you, man. Um you're the best. You're going on tour, you said. Oh uh, yeah, I'm on tour but right not now. Till, and are you on tour right now? Uh yeah, I, I got I'm starting I'm, I'm Ir I, when is this air? Because I'm at Irvine. It serves tonight. Today. Yes. Oh, okay. So Irvine, 14 shows. We're about to add two more. 14? Yeah. Wow. 14. How many days in a row? Uh-huh. How many, how many days uh, in a row? That's two weeks. You're there two weeks straight? To, uh, yeah, it'll start Wednesday until Sunday. Take two days off and do Wednesday through Sunday again. Holy shit, dude. 14 shows. I think we're going to add two more. Dude, you're a beast. Wait, six. Oh, no, we did add two more, right, Joe? Oh, so it's going to be 16. So 16 shows at the... I Maybe it. I'll come do a set at one of them. Can you? I'm down. Brian, I stop will. lying, man. I'll come. <laughs> no, but seriously, you promise all the time you're come. a liar. This guy comes through... I want to come. I, I will say this, and this is how we're going to end this, okay? This is an honest guy. No, no. What no, about he's me? an honest guy. He's a man of his word. Yeah. Uh, like, he, he's a hustler. No, he no, what fucking busts his ass, yeah. and that's why he's hugely successful. No, 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 dude. You're a on. liar. No, I'm no. not. You burn bridges. No. I'm and that's why you don't have a good watch. What? Yep. That's why you're. 
Face is old. That's why I have shingles. No. That's why that's your why face is old. No. Because you ever hold a lie, you, Guys. you're always like this. Like, <laughs> ah, come on. You're intense. All right, listen uh, to me. Promote, I'm going to be late. I'm going to be late uh, for my fucking truth. thing. I got to go. So, I love yeah. So you're I love Irvine, 14 shows. 14 shows. I'm coming to open for you. JoeCoy.com, J-O-K-O-Y.com. Boom. He has a podcast, too. I got a podcast coming out. I got a new special Netflix on coming out in June. I got a cartoon coming out, and I also got a book that's coming out. Jesus. Oh, you're a hustler. Come see me in Captain Hook. City, Kansas City, you oh, son Kansas of a bitch, City. the Kansas City Improv, and then I'll be at the Philadelphia at the end of the month, uh, Helium, and then Calgary after that. I got to run. I love you guys. I'll I do the you. reads. Right. Love you, man. Uh, you Miami, I'll see you this Friday, Saturday. One show Friday, two show Saturday, <laughs> Miami Improv. Next week, Milwaukee, Turner Hall, one show Friday, one show Saturday. Then the last week of March, I'm at Washington, D.C., D.C. Improv, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Get tickets now for Brian and myself, tfatk.com. Love you guys. This fire kid, we're out. Love it.